Hello, and welcome back to Stacklands. This is probably going to be the last episode. I know there's only two, but, you know, two long episodes of uh, Stacklands. I'm still trying out this new format. Um, and uh, we're probably going to beat the game on this episode, but there's a lot of stuff to do. Um, I did, uh, I, I, I meant to put a little blurb at the beginning of the last episode to let people know this so that, uh, I don't, I don't get a bunch of comments about this, but, um, I guess the comments are fine, you know, helps, helps the old algae, um, that's, that's, you know, me and the algorithm are in first name basis now, um, but basically I talked a lot in the last episode about not knowing, uh, how to get the automation, um, the new automation cards when I had the ability to get them um, For I, I've had the ability for a long time now. Unfortunately, this is a you know This is this is what I do is I make um, mistakes and then I and I'm like, well How do, I don't understand how come I can't do the thing and then I'm like, yeah, I, I could have done the thing the whole time Oh, well um, What we got to do is we got to make a university um, I did look into the uh, the update notes. It's like you, yeah, make the university that unlocks the ability to, uh, you know, get get all of the cards that you need. Um, and I was like, oh, dumb, dumbass. <laughs> like how, how you know, I it, it was probably really obvious, but I don't know. Okay, so university. Four brick, one wizard. Not even, not even a big ask. I should have, like, honestly, I should have just made it. Um, and, you know, like, just make it, just make everything, basically. You know, Sacklands is just, just make everything. Um, you know, and, and damn the costs, you know? Like, why, why are you, are we, you know, like, trying to cut costs here? It, it just doesn't make sense at all. Um, here's some more iron ore. We're going to go ahead and throw these somewhere where are we gonna throw these in the smelter where is the smelter where is this okay hold on this egg has to go somewhere um where is the smelter did john oh there it is there's the smelter i gotta throw another wood on there uh we'll throw another wood on the sawmill i am actually kind of running out of some resources not a lot you know like this we're, we're totally good for the most part but some um and I did look into uh, the some of the new automated uh, automation cards, and they are indeed very worth it, at least in my opinion. So uh, I am very excited about this. Not sure if I'm going to follow through with this cotton dealy. I don't know really what I want to do about that. So uh, who, who knows? Um, do I want to make a bunch of chickens? I feel like I've got a good thing going in terms of like my chicken production. We can make a couple of chickens, but like... I, I, you know, I have enough chickens. <laughs> I do have enough chickens. We are, we are in a new year. Um, I probably want to, uh, just go ahead and check the boxes on, um, on food just right away. We got a lot of milk here. We could probably feed our dudes with like just milk. I don't know how many cars this is. How many cars is this? I do kind of wish it would like, oh, this is, it does tell me 13 milk. So that's 13 milk so um we don't it's really just not worth it not doing stew stew is just so good it's just so good um that we ought to do it every single time so let's go ahead and, and get a couple chickens here and uh we're gonna go ahead and uh, kill them for some meats meats back on the menu lads um there we go let's go ahead and kill them Try and get some meat there's a, there's our first meat right away and we're gonna go ahead and cook that up uh, raw meat onion potato carrot and there's another egg that's not a meat so i'm gonna go ahead and i think if what i'll do is if uh if a chicken did not produce meat i'm just gonna go ahead and take another chicken and throw an egg on it like we have enough chickens on back what well, backlog now that you know we can we can afford to do that um and again another you know a chicken did not produce meat so we're gonna go ahead and uh start creating another chicken we're gonna all, like very immediately get overrun by chickens but that's okay we've got these pens to keep things going come on give me give me a meats give me a meats 
We've got so many eggs. Why are you giving me eggs for? Stop giving me eggs. Okay, let's go. Um, we, we need to continue killing chicken. I, I've, I've got, I'm getting very unlucky with uh, this meat production right now. Oh my god. Stop it. Yo, where are all of these chickens coming from? I know I... <laughs> I know I just recently put a lot of chickens, a lot of eggs on chickens, but still, there's a lot of chickens flying around right now. Okay, so go ahead and fight that last chicken there. Please give me a meat. Please? Why, why are you giving me poop for? Why are you giving me poop though? For? Though? Okay, uh, fight, fight another chicken. This is like the fourth chicken in a row that has not produced a- wow fifth chicken in a row can we please uh, can we please get a meat though like this is getting kind of ridiculous actually oh my god six in a row six chickens in a row we that have not produced a meat you, you, you gotta you gotta stop you gotta give me a meat come on wow okay uh, we're just gonna keep going I mean I've got enough chickens it's not really a problem but if we run through all of my chickens, it might become a problem. They're just, they're just, maybe I've just gotten obscenely lucky with this. I feel like, I'm starting to feel like I've gotten very lucky. Uh, uh, I just killed my swordsman with chickens. The chicken like critted my swordsman and, and, and now I have, wow. That is uh, that is quite the way to start the episode, is just go ahead and kill my swordsman with chickens. Wow. Um, wow. Well, I know I'm not ready for the witch yet, and as a, the fact that we still didn't get a meat out of it is, is possible. It's just like salt in the wounds there. Block. You need to, you need to stop. Thank you. My god. My god, that was way more effort than it needed to be. I blew the entire... This entire moon just trying to make a, a food happen. And worth noting that I don't even know if the stew is going to get cooked in time. So what I am going to do is... Um, let's go ahead and get 10 milk off here and throw it on there. And if I get the, the other milk in time then you know it's all good but man that sucks just like wow just wow that sucks okay well we're not gonna i'm not gonna let it get me down um i'm gonna go ahead and uh probably make a, do we have another house on standby um makes sense that we wouldn't uh i wish i could just like i know uh, you know uh, this is i can't believe i'm saying this right now but i, I kind of wish i could stack the chickens you know I, 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 don't, I don't know why I, I'm, I'm saying that, but I kind of wish I could stack the chickens. Like I've got all of the, look at all these chickens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to produce a lot more chickens to make up for um, a lot of the chickens that uh, are dead now. Uh, I can't stack the animal pens either. That's kind of a blow. We do have two corpses though. That's nice. I can get rid of that other corpse. Um, I, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and produce. We're just gonna turn all of these chickens into more chickens it's a lot of chickens i know but there's also um there is a way to expand the borders and i believe it is done from the university and hey by the way we have a university now um let me just uh do a little bit of resource management just to just to make sure all of our boxes are checked we have uh some gold bars here we'll have some more gold bars soon enough we've got some coins strewn about that's not really what you want to see why? Okay, that's fine. We're, we're about to spend, we are about to spend 50 gold coins. Actually, more like 150, because we're going to do this a couple of times. But um, yeah, we just spent 50 coins, threw that on the university. University is now cooking up the first um, of the automation cards. I wish I had um, the antidote. This guy has been poisoned for a very long time. And it's kind of a problem. This guy has got the golden chest plate. Does anyone else? No, no one else has a golden chest plate. I'm gonna need seven golden chest plates. I have to assume that the golden chest plate is the best one, but uh, it might not be. And we have three more undiscovered cards in our um, armory. So, you know, worth noting that there might actually be better 
stuff. Uh, I am starting to run out of wood, so we're going to go ahead and throw someone on the... Where is the lumber camp? There's the lumber camp. We need we need the lumber camp get going again. And we're good for stone. We don't need any more stone for now, um, but probably we will need some more iron. You know, I know that's kind of absurd, but you never know, honestly. Like these things, uh, you, you run out of them really quick. Also, I, I do know that one of the new automation items is pretty much exactly what I said, said I would like in the last episode, which was crates for holding resources, like basically bins, uh, you know, a la uh, a door fortress. So I'm very grateful for that. It's like pretty much everything I wanted in this game has been added, um, which is just, it's like super nice. Uh, I, I love, I love when that happens. Uh, you know, like when, when, when I get everything I want, basically. Then there it is, resource chest. Um, two plank, one iron bar, and one magic dust. Well, uh, that's kind of unfortunate. I don't know where we get uh, magic dust from. Um, I know we can, what we can use magic dust for, but I'm pretty sure there's no reliable or consistent way to get magic dust. So... Hmm, uh, break a bottle, make a village wear crab scale armor. I don't know how we get that. Craft the amulet of the forest. I'm pretty sure we have that. We are going to want to make some more amulets, and those also require magic dust, which is kind of a problem. Also, um, we're in a bit of a pickle here. We are going to have to delete some cards. Um, we're going to make some more warehouses. Warehouses, stone, iron bar, villager. Stone, iron bar villager we're gonna want to use someone who's got that that's a dog we don't want to use the dog let's use the villager actually because they will create it at the quickest pace they might actually be able to beat the our, our time scale here we're gonna go ahead and sell that graveyard oh and let's go ahead and get the next university item started please make it please oh uh, yeah you should he should be totally fine actually wait uh okay so we didn't make it on the stew unless it happens like now it did happen now. Okay, let's go ahead and take this, that milk off and throw that stew back on. And we did make the warehouse and we are just barely below our... Uh, listen, you know, I, I know I, I run a... Not, not quite a tight ship here. Um, but like, it wasn't entirely my fault this time, I will say. Because, um, like, you know, I, I got really screwed by those chickens. Um, okay, so we got breeding pen. A pen for breeding animals. Of course, we need an animal pen and two magic dust. I really wish we could make magic dust. I would love to find out how to make magic dust. If there's a way. I don't know if there is a way. It wouldn't surprise me, um, you know, as it's kind of typical for uh, Sock Pop, if there, there was at least one item that you can't make. Um... Okay, feed villagers. I wonder if uh, equipping, um, uh, like, equipping a weapon or armor to a villager removes the card from, like, your, your total. Let's, I kind of want to see this. Okay, so we have our, um, let's say our, who doesn't have armor right now? Um, sure, our militia has a wooden shield. Okay, so let's take that wooden shield off. It does because taking the shield off increased our our number. So if we put the sh the golden chest plate on them, wow. So equipping equipping stuff to them actually does remove from your total, which is kind of strange. I, I I don't hate it though. Um. So um, we're gonna wanna. I wish I could like make almost make notes here. I do have a, a uh, my little nerd book here specifically for making nerd notes for um you gotta have a little book you know you really do just gotta have a little book for making little nerd notes you know uh this this bit is never going to get old um so what i want to do is make a list of uh basically the seven ideal warriors that i want obviously we we do want like a wizard where is our wizard did i kill our wizard we have um, a mage. Our, I think our mage is higher level than our wizard. We're really running out of wood. I should have gotten on that earlier. We have our mage. They are total combat level 26. 
but um, that's including oh i guess that's with the magic tome the magic tome is level 11. so i think we do want to have two um mages at that level uh because they they have heal and frenzy which is just amazing um this mage here i won't, unfortunately it won't tell me what their combat level is uh a little bit unfortunate there let's go ahead and throw this iron bar on there why didn't the iron bar i guess it's just too far for it to go uh we only have one wood left okay we have two wood left we might want a second lumber camp it didn't occur to me that with all of our um combined uh uh <laughs> like smelting needs we would all kind of blow through all of our wood there are other means of getting wood of course but uh you know never mind we are gonna want to kill some chickens again let's hope that we don't kill any of our villagers in uh, you know by doing that so we have got some more gold ore we'll throw that on there really trying to get as much from that as possible oh yeah we should also um get start working on our next university item there's only, uh, there's not a ton of items that the university produces. Um, let's get an animal pen because we're going to start to see a sudden explosion in, uh, chickens very soon. That one damage from the chicken really, uh, kind of adds up, doesn't it? We got poop. It's not really what you want. Um, okay. Chicken. Where's our other animal? We had a lot of animal pens there. There it is. Um, let's do another chicken here. I should just like have all of my chickens. See, if I could get the breeding pen, I guess what I should be doing is like doing combat. The best way to get magic dust is by doing combats. And that would be um, doing basically the armory. So as soon as maybe I work through uh, some of these university items, we'll do that. Dust bin allows you to get rid of cards you don't want anymore. I feel like the best way to get rid of items you don't want anymore is by selling them. Why would you want why would you want to throw that them away instead? That seems rather wasteful. I'm not sure if I understand the logic on that one. But you know what? Um I, what I should do is make it anyway. It's the only thing that doesn't require uh it, it doesn't require magic dust. So, um I should make it anyway just to see like how is it useful? What we got resource magnet so this is a uh, one of the items that for automation this card magically pulls cards of the same kind towards it um can be useful i i wish that these items did not all require magic dust that's kind of a blow we did get a raw meat so that's good we're gonna try and uh get that stew going and we're gonna go ahead and kill another chicken we are wearing down our, our militia here or our uh the fact that, uh, you know, we're trying to make um, food happen from chickens, from, from meat in general, uh, it, it, it kind of wears on us a little bit. There's another egg. We'll just go ahead and kill another chicken. We got another, another iron. This, uh, this, uh, oh, we're putting things on the wrong thing here. Iron ore. Uh, our, our, our smelter is very overworked, I think. Um, okay, we got more chickens. This is good. Where's our, our last animal pen? These milks. I would love to, like, figure out a, a sustainable means of dealing with this milk. I guess if I had, like, our last greenhouse, instead of producing, um, cotton, which I kind of gave up on, uh, we, we produced berries. That would actually be pretty good because then we could sell the berries or, or consume them as well. That's nice, too. Um, more gold ore. This is good. Where is all of our... Okay, these are how many gold bars we have. We have, I think, two golden chest plates in total. Uh, where is it? No. Um, okay, where's our... Okay, there's one golden chest plate. Then didn't we have another one on standby? Uh, is it like dark gray? Where is our other chest plate? um wow okay just one there's just one here where is our other golden chest plate i thought i had two. Oh, here it is yeah okay so we have two um we need seven in total they're they cost i believe two golden bars each uh yeah two golden bars each 
So that means uh, math is cool. Uh, we need 14, um, but we already have two, so we need 10. We need 10 golden bars. We have six so far. Actually, no, we have eight. So we're very close to meeting that need. Um, as our, our university is on standby, we should throw some more money at it. I do um, even, you know, might seem like a waste, but I do want to uh, get one. I, I do want to get all of these university items, even if I don't make them all. Um, I, I, it's just like I would like to basically do everything. Um, and you know why? Why not? May as well, right? Um, okay, we've got. Do we have our second? Okay, we have our second stew being made. Is there anything we're not doing right now? I feel okay. I think we're actually good. I know it seems weird, but maybe we might be good for iron bars. Um, we have two people on mines. This is on, on golden mines. That's good. We're almost at the end of our requirements for golden, uh, for gold ore. But like you know, I say that, but at the same time, there's going to be a lot of things. Um, especially from the university that require gold hot pot a replenishable source of food that your villagers can eat from add food and they'll eat from it at the end of the moon why how is this different from the mess hall a replenishable source of food that your villagers can eat from i don't understand uh, I mean, I, I'll make it. I don't think it's, it's that expensive. Campfire is what? Stick and flint. I, I, ironically, stick and flint is like some of my most valuable resources because I don't have a lot of each of those. Um, and two iron bar. It's actually, it is pretty expensive. Can't one, is it one villager? Yeah, one villager campfire and iron bar. Okay, we'll make it, but... Uh, could, it sounds kind of pricey to be honest. I honestly really want, I really want the breeding pen. The, the breeding pen would just kind of be ideal. Oh my God. Um, yeah, this is, this is kind of nuts. I may as well just throw eggs on all of these chickens just to keep them in place. It keeps them in place for a long time. Oh, where's all of our... We're out of eggs, huh? Okay, well, we'll just kill this last chicken. There are, our, our university is idle. Let's go ahead and throw another. That's all of our money spent, by the way. We have no more money left. I think, uh, I think that means that we should do berries just so we can start raising some funds from strawberries. There's another egg. Uh, iron ore, it's good. We got a bone, that's fine. We didn't really need it. We didn't need we didn't need the meat. I've already got our meats sorted. I am interested. Oh god, we are like way above our uh, magic glue, goop, magic dust, and charcoal. Sticks the t stack on top of it uh, to the board and prevents it from moving. Yes, yeah, so this is one of the the. the rather this is a really um i think useful card because you know the, um the uh, like cards move around way too much in this game so having them just like stuck um down is is really nice um okay so i'm trying to think uh what i'd like to do next what would i like to do next i need to have someone working on something uh, what I'd like to do is actually buy some humble beginnings and try and get a berry bush. These these cards over here are really not not okay. Okay, um, we didn't get a berry bush. I might I'll sell a couple of these shields because we're not going to use the shields. We're going to be using um, golden chest plate instead. This will give us a berry, right? Berry bush, yeah. Give us a berry bush. There it is. That's all we need. We only need the one because now we can propagate as many as we need. Let's have a villager working on that. We'll go ahead and sell. Actually, the trees. Might as well just like use the trees. Oh, and if we have time, actually, let's have the um, just like the the mage work on that. We need the villager to work on another uh, warehouse because we're hitting the limit on that again. 
uh, stone iron bar and villager. I will never remember that because it's such a bizarro recipe, honestly. He should make it, but maybe not. Okay, um, a hot pot. Okay, so it's villager, campfire, two iron bar. Uh, do we have a spare villager? It doesn't look like it, actually. Everyone's kind of doing something right now. I guess I can have this warrior do it. Uh, let's throw this berry on that greenhouse. Um, okay. I don't know where th what that warehouse is doing. Okay. Warehouse, it should just barely make it. Villager, campfire, two iron bar. Campfire, two iron bar, villager. Please make it. This one right here. That's we need we need that. Uh, berry. There we go. Um, we're still way, way over our needs. Um, that's kind of a problem. We could sell our milk. Uh, we did actually eat some milk there. So, uh, do, am I over my food needs? I wonder. Uh, what should we sell? I, I don't want to sell our milk because I'm going to make more money from it from keeping it. We have 25 cards, so we might as well sell some of the milk. Um, we could honestly sell some iron bars. We have way too many iron bars. Uh, and make a little bit of money from that. Uh, we could sell some gold bars, maybe? I don't know. We have more iron bars here. Let's, let's sell a little bit more iron bars. Um, planks, maybe? Stone? I don't need too much stone. Stone is, uh, it's easy to come by. We could sell some vegetables. So vegetables actually sells for, sells for a pretty good price, and we only need two of each per season. Oh, yo, traveling card is actually great. If we could get, um... If we could get some more magic dust or possibly a map, the, the map would give us another tome and um, we need the tome to, to make more mages. So like one more, one more tome is what we need from them. Bone, key, coin, chest, I know that's an iron bar, apple, bone, bone, stop giving me bones. Old tomb, that's not really what we want. Um, that's weird. Can we, we can throw a villager on them, but I'm pretty sure that just makes them an explorer or something. I can't remember. Um, can, can you give me a map? Give me a lot of soil. Um, the soil is nice and all, but it's not really what we want. I'm going to sell all of this stuff and then, uh, just go ahead and keep buying some more stuff. I'm gonna sell the sword also. Might keep the slingshot. We do need like a good um, ranger. So um, yeah, we have we still have some things to, to figure out in terms of like uh, some of the um, equipment. I don't have equipment really figured out yet. Uh. Hot pot, a replenishable source of food that your villagers can eat from. Add food and they'll eat from it at the end of the moon. What does that mean? What? All right, the potato is zero um, food. Hmm, I wonder if this would be the same as like, in terms of what it, like, do you think it would make them all well-fed? Also, I noticed I didn't get the well-fed bonus, even though I had two stew. That's kind of frustrating. I don't know why that would be the case. I'm going to try this hot pot once just to see what happens. Um, still going to buy some stuff. Oh, there's a map. Perfect. Um, I think we need magic dust to make 
the old tomb. Tome, sorry. Not tomb. Tome. Uh, Frittata. We got another map. This is good. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit curious about this um, hot pot business. Where's our other berries? Okay, we need... We're gonna start making some money. Um, I'm good for the traveling card. I think we have enough. I really just wanted those maps. The maps were what I needed. Um, well, I think next what we're gonna have to do is do some, like, just basic combats to start, uh, farming some dust. Because, uh, yeah, I need, I need dust. I do need that dust. Um, let's see here. That stable portal is making me nervous a little bit. Hmm. Okay, iron mine. Um, trying to, trying to just, like, sort things out a little bit. Not just, like, on, in the game, but also in my head. Like, where are we now? What are we trying to accomplish? Uh, what we should do is, like, make some food. Um... Basically haven't, like, progressed this moon at all. It's because I'm, like, trying to figure out our next, like, step. What is our next step? We can put the hot pot on the mess hall. That's kind of nice, I think. I really... I am curious about this ma uh, hot pot. Like, what does it do? D does it, like, make sure that they're all well-fed? Like, can you put any food in there and then the, it'll give them the well-fed bonus? That would be really nice. That would make it, like, really worth it. I need to start putting these chests up near our cell so that the money goes in there. Oh, we can throw this apple in there. Um, milkshake is sold. Um, our baby here is almost a villager and now they are. This is good. Okay, so I think next we're going to start buying armory cards. Uh, I'm gonna start farming berries so we can sell milkshakes. Let's. What is the old the old tomb? Tome? No. Tome is yeah. Magic dust map and smithy. So we need that dust. We need a lot of dust. Honestly, this uh, villager still being poisoned is such a pain in the butt. I really wish I could cure him. I don't know how to cure him. Um, it's just such a pain. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. All right, so uh, do we have any chests? We don't. Let's go ahead and sell these keys. I'm sure I'm going to regret doing that later. I don't care. Let's buy some armory cards so we can do some combat. This skeleton does have a helmet, which is nice, but um, looks like that's it. I don't know. We could possibly get uh, we, we could possibly get some magic dust from them, but uh, who knows? Why is there an extra campfire here? Uh, I'll sell that. This is um, melee. Melee is good against uh, magic, so we need a ranged unit. That would be our fishery, fisher friend here. Oh, crossbow. Oh, that's what we got from this. Uh, rope, plank, wood, iron bar, smithy. A gun for arrows. We do have guns. Guns are kind of an option. I wonder if they're like the best ranged unit or ranged weapon. Um, hammer, slingshot, spiked plank, throwing stars. We could try throwing stars, but they're only level six. Um, crossbow isn't bad. Where is our blunderbuss? Uh, what com combat level nine? That's pretty good. I don't think we can. We're gonna beat that, and it does require golden bars. So, okay, let's uh, kind of get that started. Golden bar, iron bar. We're gonna need two of these, remember. If the if this is indeed the best of uh, the range unit, plank, flint, and what? And smithy, I imagine? Yeah, smithy. So let's go ahead and throw that on the smithy. Sell this milkshake. Very effective. Stunned, very effective. I like our our fisherman has been actually very wishing well. It gives you a wish for every 100 coins. What is a wish? Also, two magic dust. We we have like I really like we have enough things that require dust and not enough ways to accumulate dust. I feel. 
Um, I feel the same way about money in a way. Okay, so we got our first bl blunderbuss. Let's make that again. Uh, gold bar, iron bar, flint, and uh, what was the last one? Militia is... Da, da, da. Plank and flint. Plank. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, smithy. So that's going to be our two ranged units. Are, are going to be blunderbuss. I have to imagine that, that it's just like worth it. It's just like the ideal thing. Um, it might be that... I don't know. Maybe there's something better. I ha like here my my the way I kind of interpret things for this is that there is like a um like perfect version of each class like magic, warrior or ma magic melee and ranged right and then there's an ideal um, item for each of them. Um, it could be that these amulets are what we want. So we have a um, amulet of or mountain amulet although it only it's only combat level four so i don't know if that's super worth it maybe they they're better than their combat level i don't know um i, I assume we're gonna want a quiver for um for the the ranged unit um mage i don't know we'll, we'll kind of figure things out but there's gonna be like one accessory that suits each each uh, unit like ideally and then probably just like the best armor is like just golden chest plate it could be that there's better things to give all of them like maybe the wizard robe works better on the wizard than on a golden chest plate but i don't know about that like it, it really is kind of up to interpretation a little bit 10 percent chance to stun target i mean like the golden chest plate gives you a chance to stun it's it might be that that's just ideal it could be that uh there's armor. I mean, it's also it, it, it also gives like a lot of health. I have to imagine, right? I actually I really don't know. Health 19, 20, 14, 15. I, I, I actually don't know. Like, let's take the armor off. There's still 14, 15. So actually um, confirmed that the armor doesn't give them health. It looks like it just OK, it gives them a chance to stun and also critical. So they have a chance of doing like a lot of damage. So what I am doing is building a very crit heavy crew. And I'm kind of okay with that. Um, I think that that could be just fine. Not sure why this mage has so much health. They've got the magic tome and they've also got the rabbit hat. Magic tome is I think very good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, I have to imagine, like, for instance, the warrior might be, like, one of the best versions of uh, the melee class. I might be wrong about that as well. A lot of things I'm, I'm just, like, kind of, um, you know, throwing around. It goes on top of your head. I don't know what the helmet does. Maybe the helmet gives them health. Doesn't look like it. The item level 5, like, it doesn't really tell you what the item does it really doesn't it's very ambiguous about it and um you know for better or worse i mean that's kind of the sock pop style um but it can be a little bit uh, i won't say frustrating but like you, you can be you can kind of feel like you're just like left in the dark a little bit sometimes uh this berry is almost farmed we're gonna go ahead and throw a villager on that Got our iron bars. We've got everything, like, everything's going pretty well right now. Um, I'm just kind of slowly grinding towards, uh, towards, you know, our, our ultimate goal. Oh, yeah, the villager is still poisoned. I kind of wish they would just die. <laughs> got another berry. Let's throw that on a, on a milk. Lots of eggs being produced right now. Did we kill another chicken? We don't have another. We have our stew here. I am going to throw these in the hot pot. I really don't know what that's going to do for us. Yeah, this is a, it is a game of experimentation, ultimately. 
Um, let's continue to kill chickens until we get our required meat. Oh my god. Yo. Calm down. That's what happens when you add all of your eggs to all of your chickens while the game is paused is they all produce their chicken at the same time and it's just it's it's a bit too much also what are all these eggs over here doing this is this is like way, way too much um i would love to make crates i really actually really i really wish they hadn't made crates require dust why did they have to make them require dust that was just such a dick move honestly <laughs> i uh i can't stand that dust is the only thing i can't reproduce okay we're gonna do some more armories i i it's the only way i can get dust and we're almost done here pickaxe that could be cool. Iron bar, stick, and flint. I imagine that would have got, gained us more resources, like, quickly. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is a way to get dust resources. Um, why did it open building? I want... Okay, brick. Uh, doesn't... It, dust isn't even listed here under resources. Um, basic? No. Magic dust. Yeah, ma ma dust isn't... It's not even listed here. That's so annoying. <laughs> why, uh... Why are we doing this, Sock Pump? <laughs> why are we making, like, one of the most, like, useful items in the game so hard to obtain? I guess I just answered my own question, didn't I? Okay, well... It is what it is. Like, I'm just like looking for a clue, like how how to acquire dust. Also, was that a, no? We have one more undiscovered item in here. Um, we also have to deal with this giant rat. Uh, range is good against melee, so we don't want to do that. We want to have our two mages doing this. Give a second. We can also throw our warrior on here. Because he can stun them, maybe? Rat crown. It tur turns into the king of the rats. Turn into the king of the rats. We also have a goblin hat. 5% chance to do a critical hit on target. I mean, that's kind of nice. Um, I don't know what this rat crown does for us. Like, if I took everything off... Where, where did our... What? Did they only have the shield? I don't... I don't know what this rat crown does. I don't think it does anything. There's a couple of things like that in this game. It's just like... What does it do? Nothing. Um... It's just like a hat. Maybe the hats are kind of a joke item. They don't actually do anything. What a frenzy increases attack speed. Okay, we're gonna open this magic staff magic dust wood and smithy a long enchanted rod Don't we need that to make a, a bone staff? Yeah But it's only combat level four. I have like serious questions about um, the way that um, The weapons are valued in this game like it, you know, I think that if you're, if you're like tier, um, for, for the way weapons are, are tiered, it doesn't make sense. Then just don't do it. Cause like, why is it? Tell me, someone needs to tell me, why is it that the bone staff, which requires the magic staff to make is a lower combat level than the magic staff by a margin of half. Like, that really doesn't make sense to me. I would have to, like, I guess make the staff and see what extra added ability it has. Um, and then, you know, like, make notes, write it down. Um, 
Oh, do we have enough food? Yeah, we do. This was extra food that I got somewhere. And then, like, make the bone staff and see, like, compare it. What, like, what is different about it? Hopefully I get some magic dust. Nope, no magic dust for me. I only got a worthless golden bar. Okay. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit, uh, on this, on this whole, like, business of, of, uh, magic dust stuff. It's a little bit demoralizing. Um, because we need a lot of it. We really do need just a, a, a lot of magic dust. Okay, at the very least, we're going to find out what this hot pot does. I don't know if I should put it on the mess hall because then maybe it'll prioritize the hot pot and that would be good. Um, so I guess we'll see what the hot pot does for us. Um, is there anything I should like do before the year is over? Uh, I don't think so. We are like way over cards here and we could do, what we could do is sell a couple of our vegetables now preemptively just to take care of this. Um, gold chest, gold chest. Where's our... Where's our last... Oh, there it is. Gold chest. There, there is our ongoing gold chest right now. Um, let's go ahead and sell up to... So we have like four of each. Four of each is good. Um, we have another stew on the go here. I, I don't know. We have so many extra cards. It's not as bad as it has been, but it's still pretty bad. Let's go ahead and see what our blunderbuss dude. Oh, it turns into a militia. Fifteen chance percent chance to damage all enemies. Ten percent chance to do a critical. Um, to chance to do a critical hit on self. What? Five percent chance to do a critical hit on target. This seems like very bad. This seems like not worth it at all. If he has a chance to hit himself. Also, um, I'm not really sure about the, like, why did he, why, why did we turn him into a militia? Um, in, in uh, comparison, this other militia seems like a way more better, like just in general. But like, are, are these ranged? I, I, like, I can't tell. I actually don't know. Postgrad wizard, like, what kind of, what kind of, uh, combat does, does this militia do versus this militia? I'm very confused now. Okay. Well, at the very least, let's see what this, um, this business with the, uh, with the hot pot does. Everyone was fed. Um, we we did not, in fact, get the well-fed status. So I don't know what's up. I do not know what's up. That seems um, kind of unfair. What is the point of the hot pot? Is it just so like we can we can uh, is this just a way of storing food in a very convenient way so we don't have to like see the stack of food? Like I could just like throw this giant stack of milk on there. Oh or 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 not. Rare portal. Oh god. It seems stronger than usual. Oh no. Um I guess it, putting those milks on the hot pot did get rid of them, so I did kind of deal with our card situation. That was maybe not what I wanted to do. So I think stews are still better um, than doing the hot pot. Because if you feed them just stew, you will get the well-fed status. Uh, so this is uh, not a great situation. I mean, I guess we can ch try out this um, blunderbuss. We're going to put him on a, on a not-poisoned villager. Um... Why don't we go ahead and throw the other blunderbuss somewhere? Where is the other blunderbuss? 
Oh, I guess I, that was the other blunderbuss. Yeah. Do we have um, any other weapons? No, it does, no, we don't. Um. Okay. Um. I'm just trying to figure things out. This uh, this rare portal is a little bit spooky, but it, you know what? In a good, it's a good thing maybe because uh, we can like finally get some dust. Go ahead and just like throw everything together a little bit. Uh, I do want to get some more armory. I guess I have everything in the armory. I think I have everything. Period. I don't think there's any more undiscovered cards. You know, maybe the only thing left. Um. Oh, you can use backspace to sell cards. That's kind of nice. The only thing that I uh, don't have now is in the university, so we can, you know, throw a bit of uh, some some money at that. But um, that's not for right now. There's another villager. There's another iron bar. Um, and another berry. We're still gonna be selling berries. Okay, let's see, let's see what happens here. I really, I just need to like, kind of pull things out of the way. There's gonna be a lot of chickens and eggs and stuff. They're all kind of in the way right now. Throw these houses together, stack them together and throw them over here. There's just too many cards. <laughs> There's way too many cards. Um, and uh, things are, are just kind of ridiculous right now. We don't have, I should have made, uh, actually I might have enough time. Let's go ahead and make another couple of um, golden chest plates. Where is the smithy? There it is. I probably don't have enough time. I really should have just made those golden chest plates. I don't know what, to, like why I resisted doing that. Okay, what do we got going? Um, it's nothing unmanageable. These guys do have a lot of health. There's a frog man. We do have a uh, use for goop. Okay, um, so I, what I'd like to do is kind of split these guys up a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So, um, melee is good against, uh, uh, magic. Magic is good against ranged. So, where is our, our mages? I'm gonna throw our mages against these guys. Um, and then, uh, we'll throw our militia, I guess. Like, I, I don't know what's up. I, I guess our militia are our ranged units. So I'll throw that against the skeletons and the fisher. Um, now everything's kind of messed up. Okay, this isn't bad. And then we have the two ranged units. The ranged units are... Uh, what's good against... I guess... I guess magic is good against ranged units. So I, I need the mag ma magic users to, to be against them. But you know what? what? What else is good against ranged users are also ranged users. Like, they're just kind of one-to-one. -one. Um, we could throw the militia against them. I really don't know how that's going to work. What happened there? Okay, we've got a ranged user versus a ranged user. We've got a ranged user versus a magic user. That's good. That's good. Um, we've got a melee user versus a range user. That's bad. That's not really what we want. I mean, just having, like, we could just throw everything in here. I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, okay, hold on. Melee is good against magic. Uh, I don't think there are any magic users here. So throwing our melee users in here is actually probably a bad thing. Although having them fight the melee users is not a bad thing. This is kind of ridiculous. I want our melee users to fight the melee users. And then I want... Yeah, this isn't... This is fine. Oh, except they're... Uh, we have a melee fighting a magic. We don't want that. We want the magic over here. Get those sticks out of the way. Okay, I think this is good. Very effective. Except we're, like, taking m crazy damage. Like, it doesn't seem to matter that we've got all of our ducks in a row here. We're still not in a great situation.
Um, let's pull that fisherman out of there. Why did that giant rat shoot all the way over there? Very effective. We got the melee users fighting range users. That's not what we want. I don't know if there's any way we can kind of deal with that. Uh, we gotta, we gotta pull him out of there. We gotta maybe pull this guy out of there too. This isn't going well. Okay, someone died. Um. Okay, the mage might possibly die. Let's keep go. We could still win this. Those crits are not nearly as good as you want them to be. Okay, um, we gotta pull someone out of there. Uh, we do have some spare villagers. Let's go ahead and uh, set them up and throw them in here as well. Also, we'll give them a helmet. Oh, this mil militia guy has to come out. Do we have anyone else who can go in? Not really. Everyone is hurt right now. So we gotta hope that this militia pulls a clutch. They're not even attacking. Okay, they attacked once. Okay, the blunderbusses suck. I'm sorry. Someone's gonna tell me that the blunderbuss is good or something, but like, I actually hate them. Uh, they're, they're actually awful. And the dog fight the last one. Um, that was like miserable. I I I hated that. But, I mean, I guess the good news is that we're down to seven, except now we have two poisoned units. These guys are poisoned, right? Yeah. Need an antidote as soon as possible. Do we have the antidote? No, we don't. Um... I really wish I knew how to find the, the antidote. I've found, I have to imagine it's found only on the island. Um, and it may be, yeah, it's cure, cure a poisoned villager. I might just, like, I'm just going to look it up and find out uh, how to, uh, to make it up, make it. Because I, uh, this has been an ongoing problem. And now the fact that I have, um, two poisoned villagers. Cool, I can't, I can't shift tab. Can't shift tab without the game on pausing. Man, I, the game is like determined to, to piss me off right now. I won't lie. Okay, all right. I'm gonna have to search this on Steam instead of just shift tabbing. I was gonna look up a guide. This is a, I don't, I haven't looked up too like much of anything on Stacklands, but I'm gonna look this up because I am very tired of this whole antidote thing. Um, antidote. What do you mean? I can, what do you mean? There's no antidote on this villagers' resources. What? Uh, okay. There, there's no antidote. How do you cure a villager? Man, this this is really annoying. You can't, can't cure, like, must find an antidote as soon as possible, only there's no cure. Stacklands antidote. Uh, poisoned. Uh, equipment, blow, pipe, crab scale, mobs, feral cat, and snake. They have to be healed with charcoal? Are, are you kidding me? Okay, how do you... Okay, apparently charcoal is the cure. How do you make charcoal? Campfire and wood. It's that easy, folks. Well, these villages are gonna die um, very soon if I don't make this antidote, but at least I know what the antidote is now. Uh, I'm sure that uh, maybe, maybe that was obvious to someone. Not me. Uh, like, I, I kind of get it. I know that like this is a cure in real life for poison, but it was not obvious to me. Where is our freaking chest? There's one chest. Where's our ongoing treasure chest? It's just like 
Did it get like shoved out of the universe? I see one coin chest. I see another coin chest. Oh, there it is. My God. Um, sell a milk milkshake. There's there's just like straight up too many cards. And you know the problem is that all of these chickens. Um, we have a. Oh, I thought one of those chickens was glowing. Uh, if I like tried to fight them all, would a hundred percent kill our villagers. Um. Not sure what to do in this situation. We don't have enough animal pens. We don't even have close to enough animal pens. The chickens are legitimately a problem right now. I really like the blunderbuss. I'm I'm honestly so I'm I'm so mad about like why why make something that is like first of all it's it's expensive. Um it, it's it's like you know, it's got this high status on it, and then it's just awful. Like the 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 very idea that I that I would like exchange the potential for a slow attack that damages all the units for like, oh, also you will probably crit yourself. Not probably, but like ten percent, isn't it? It's ten percent, right? Where's our militia? Ten percent chance to do a critical. No, that's not the militia. And also that it makes a militia, which is not the same militia. 10% chance to do a critical hit on self. Like, come on. That's just really bad. Um, I'm, I'm honestly really upset about that. Uh, okay, so we're gonna... It's just setting up another stew here. Uh, do we even have enough food? We kind of don't. I'm, I'm really, like, not in a good situation right now. Oh, we, we, okay, sorry, we do have one stew. This is not gonna finish cooking in time, unfortunately. Um, so we can just throw our hot pot on there. We have enough food from the hot pot. Uh, I don't know what to do about these blunderbusses. I might just throw them away. I need a better ranged item. I guess I, what I should be doing is working on um, making charcoal. Flint and stick. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, the chickens. <laughs> 20 cards, too many. Yeah, I, I understand why. I understand why we have too many cards right now. This is a, an actually just way too many cards. And uh, I'm really upset about it. This is just too many cards. Um, 16 cards too many. Look at all these cards that I shouldn't have. Why did I do this? I really wish I could just kill them, kill the chickens now. Can I sell them? No, wouldn't that be cool? Uh, I kind of wish I had a- I, I guess there is a butchery, but I don't have it yet because I need, like, a lot of money still. Um, this is gonna be such a problem. Um, I have to sell 16 cards right now. I guess I have, like, a lot of iron we can sell, and that's actually solving two problems at once, in a way, because I do need a lot of money. Let's go ahead and throw some money on the university as well. Um... So we don't need, I think, any of these eggs. So let's go ahead and sell them all. Oh god. Oh god. It's so bad right now. It's so bad. I hate it. I really hate it. Oh my god. There's so many chickens. Um, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna let's let's kill some chickens. That's what we're gonna do right now. We just need to work through all of these chickens. The good news is we'll probably never need food like again ever. Actually, I, you know what we can do is we can throw all of these chickens into this combat. 
this is this is uh this is some like thumbnail bait right here if you wonder, wondered what the thumbnail was now you know um this this is what we're doing uh the re I, i'm i'm actually worried i might crash the game uh the reason i'm doing this is because the blunderbuss may actually help because if i can blunderbuss all of them then uh, i may kill all of the chickens at once oh my god oh my god this is just like too many i might actually kill everyone if they all like get a an attack at once this could actually destroy this game <laughs> this is so bad oh my god all right did it he's done it this is just oh my god <laughs> oh my god that made up for so much nonsense oh my god look how many bones we got we actually surprisingly did not oh look at that we got the butchery raw meat plank iron bar we could make that we could have if only we could have if only we made that like a second ago raw meat um two plank one iron bar and a villager oh my god that was amazing <laughs> that was just incredible i it, that, that is probably one of the best things i've ever done in a game <laughs> Um, where's our campfire? I, I still want to I still need to cure our villagers um, We got a lot of bones and poop we can sell uh, We did get some raw meat. It's just like, you know, like y y I was hoping for more raw meat um, Egg milk just trying to like sort everything out here. We got five raw meat That's it. That's kind of garbage. <laughs> I feel like maybe this uh, this meta doesn't work as well as I was hoping. Like I maybe I got very lucky a couple of times and got some meat, and uh, and then you know since then it's just it, you know I have not been getting as much meat. Where does this rabbit come from? <laughs> that rabbit kind of came out of nowhere. Um, okay, hold on. First of all, we're gonna sell these bones. That's a, a nice chunk of change. Uh, secondly, secondly, we're gonna sell. Where's the poop? There's the poop. Um, we're gonna throw that on the university. Okay. We have a. Oh, we we don't have anyone anything on that greenhouse. We still want to earn some money. Um. Look at, we do have like a, just a ridiculous number of eggs. These these eggs do be dancing, don't they? Okay, lighthouse increases the board size past the warehouse limit. That's a not a huge ask. If we had another campfire, where is our campfire? I made a campfire somewhere. Sawmill, berry, animal pen. We have. Four animal pens since when campfire here it is okay we need to throw wood on the campfire and make charcoal sell that butchery oh uh, I guess we'll throw the money on the camp on the university we must be getting pretty close to being done with the university place of wisdom gives you a new idea for every 50 coins Charcoal. Okay, give that to a villager. We got a butchery. Sends animals on vacation. I, I kind of love that it uh, phrases it that way. Let's uh, see what happens. Oh, it's slow though. Oh my god, it's slow. 
So we did cure a villager. Fantastic. Let's throw this um, crane there. Uh, there's one of the automation. That was, a, was this was one of the automations I was really excited about, actually. Okay, we're um, wood on the campfire. There we go. Crane. Uh, I do want to make the lighthouse, actually. Two brick. We're running out of bricks. I need to make some more bricks. Two bricks, one glass, and one campfire. Where's our glass? One glass, one campfire, and one villager. Um, I kind of let's let's do this after I'm done making the other charcoal to cure our other villager. Makes sense, right? finally cured our villagers i can't believe how long that took okay um yeah all right so let's throw this campfire on uh there and then make a lighthouse it'd be nice to have a little bit more breathing room i don't know how much extra breathing room it gives but i'm hoping a lot we'll have to see we got a lot of eggs. I do want to produce more chickens. I know uh, that's kind of ironic, isn't it? Does this butchery guarantee meat? Cause that would be really nice. Oh man. Okay, that uh, that's kind of a game changer. Cause now stew is like a guarantee. Um, the prob we need another butchery. That's what we need. And I do have some spare uh, meat, so let's um, let's make another butchery. Because here's the thing: if we just have two butcheries, then we only need to produce two chickens per uh, per year. If it guarantees meat, I don't think it does. I don't think it's going to. Um, I'm really hoping it does, but I, you know, who can say? One iron bar and one villager. Also, I don't seem to be getting the well-fed status anymore. I'm not sure what's up with that. Okay, that lighthouse gave us so little extra room. I gotta say that was like kind of a big letdown. <laughs> not, not really what I was looking for in terms of, uh, you know, when, when you say extra room, uh, I, I definitely get an idea in mind of like what you mean by that. Um, that that was not it. Where is our berry? Oh, there's a greenhouse. Did we not make a another berry bush? Where's our berry? God, there's just too much on the board. It's never going to get better. It's just, oh, wow. Look at all of, all of our onions. We don't need that many onions. Okay, berry. Where is our greenhouse? Greenhouse. Where are you, Greenhouse? More eggs over here. There's just like so much stuff getting lost in the shuffle. I need to like take a moment. I really like, I, again, I kind of like unironically resent that um, like some of the best uh, automation features are gated behind dust, which is the only thing I can't produce. Like, come on, guys. It's such a mess. <laughs> Like this stuff, like everything is a mess right now. And, and I, the, I can't deal with it. I cannot deal with this mess because these, uh, these, you know, really cool new features are locked behind a resource that I can't really get. I mean, I, I like, I know combat and we're going to do some combat. Don't worry. I need to get these resources. So we're going to do combat, but where is our freaking greenhouse? There it is, man. All right. Uh, okay, we got our stew. Let's like, just go ahead and get our ducks in a row here and throw another thing on there. Um, we also, we have another uh, butchery. Uh, I was make, I was gonna produce more chickens. I'm just gonna throw all of our eggs on chickens. Yes, I'm gonna do that again. No, we're not gonna have like the same, you know, level of chicken itch before. Um, Actually, if I do this, we will. So maybe I'll hold back a little bit. So instead, let's go ahead and throw a chicken on that butchery. Let's see if we get the well-fed status. I'm kind of hoping. Okay, yeah, there it is. 
I feel like, I think if you feed them anything but stew, uh, it spoils the well-fed status. Um, the well-fed status really is worth it. I know I'm going like on and on and on about it, but it really is like absolutely worth trying to get, where, where is our greenhouse? What, what happened there? Did I like not put the, oh my God. I'm really, I'm, I'm losing my mind. <sighs> I'm like losing my mind. We really got to sort things out. Hold on a second. Gold mine, gold mine. Um, I'm not, I, I'm not necessarily going to produce more iron and gold right now, but I just like, I seriously need to just sort things out because there's just too much going on. Lumber camp, sawmill, we're going to group them up like that. Quarry, um, and then brickyard, those go together. Smithy, it doesn't necessarily go with anything. Frigate, uh, uh you know, whatever. Sand quarry, we can put it you know, somewhere there, I guess. And we'll put it next to the smelter, that makes sense. Um, okay, this, you know, this is a bit more orderly now. Smithy, stable portal, I don't know where, where, where they, that could possibly go. Okay, things are a bit better. Um, everyone's well fed. I need to, I just need to do some combat. Um, so where is our gold? It's down here. Do we have any money? No, we don't. We need berries. We need money of like any kind. I guess I could sell some eggs. We don't need nearly this many eggs. I guess since I am killing a bunch of our chickens, we could stand to keep a few eggs. So I'll throw those on there. Throw those on there. Do we seriously only... Okay, no, we have some more money here, but it's getting kind of lost in the shuffle. So I'll go ahead and pull these out of there. We still need um, three more coins. I'll sell some vegetables. We don't need all of these vegetables. What? Oh, what? what? <laughs> I have to sell them first. They can't. You can't use uh, carrots for goods and services. Okay. <sighs> Finally, coin chest on the armory. Um, what? Do, actually, like, is there a better way to do combat? The armory might not be it. No, it's kind of it. It's. I think it's the best one. Um. I don't know what happened. There was, I thought there was an icon somewhere for each unit, but uh, we're gonna change, I guess we'll change this fisherman into a, a militia. I, I really am sorry that they used the militia for two different units. Like, I feel like um, the, maybe the spear is ranged. Maybe I'm just like very wrong about this whole thing. But uh, either way, I wish they'd kind of distinguish those a little bit. Um, Okay, so we're going to start doing some combat. I think that the armory is the best way to do that. Um, there is there is explorers, but I don't think it's as good and it also costs more, so we won't be able to do it as often. Uh, old village. There is the old village. Uh, um, that's like an exploration one. We could do exploration. We could actually like get stuff from that, but I, I feel like this method is faster. So let's do the armory. Okay, and of course that puts the booster pack like in the worst spot and all of my organization efforts are gone. Okay, we got a plank. That's nice. We got a rock. I'll actually make use of that. Um, so this is a skeleton. Um, so sorry, melee user and that's it's ranged users are good against that. So we're going to go ahead. So yeah, see this militia is is melee and the other militia is, is um is ranged that's just like bad that that's that's not okay spiked plank and also the i the uh, method of making the spiked plank plank and flint for tough construction workers cool uh you know fun gimmick not not really what we want i wonder if there's like more undiscovered stuff uh that we don't know about hidden amongst some of this combat it's another skeleton and iron ore except this is a shiny iron ore so we should sell that that's like another armory right there um this is a melee so we want to go ahead and throw our uh, our archeries against them again 
I guess we can also um, throw our like actual melee users. Very effective. We got a helmet. Goody for us. That's butchery is done. I, I didn't expect that. I'm in pause mode, so th I shouldn't have gotten that other butchery. I can go ahead and throw another chicken on there. Um, we can do one more armory. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we have a berry bush. That's good. Do we have a villager? Yeah, we do. Okay, so let's throw them on the berry bush. Got another skeleton. We, we've been getting a lot of skeletons. Okay, we got an axe. Level four, 10% chance to bleed target. Cool, um, I don't know if that is necessarily super useful for us. I'll, I'll stash it somewhere. We really need dust. Um, I don't. I don't know. How, like. Like. I keep. Maybe I'm just getting very unlucky. Maybe I don't know the best method of getting dust. You know what? I've got the Stacklands wiki open on my right monitor here. I'm sorry. I'm zooming in so much, but um, unfortunately, Stacklands doesn't know I'm trying to get to the top of the page. Dust. Check this out. Magic dust. It's a silver card in Stacklands in the Cardopedia. It is ca categorized as a resource. Uh, well, uh, not for me. I, I looked specifically in resources. Did I just not find it? Glass fabric. No, it's, it's not in there. Um, a killing enchanted shroom, ant, ghost, giant snail. Yeah, you can only get... Or apparently you can get them from killing skeletons, but I just have not been... Okay, so I've got the magic amulet, or sorry, yeah, resource chest, resource magnet crane, forest amulet, magic blade, magic tome, magic wand, a lot of magic stuff. I feel like there should be a way, a method of making magic dust, even if it's very, like, roundabout, um, because, like, this, this, is, this stuff is for the birds a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, okay, there's our other militia. We got a morning star. The morning star is pretty good, actually. It made our, uh, our warrior. Um, I really should, I, I have enough gold bars. We should just, I should just be making more, um, gold and gold and chest plate whenever possible. So we have our second uh, warrior. Pretty sure that's what. The, yeah, they've got a morning star. Okay, we got some berries. This is good. Um, got a berry on the greenhouse. We. I, I want to make some milkshakes. I. I still think that milkshakes are one of the best ways of making, um, money in this game. Uh, our stove is empty right now, so let's go ahead and throw another stew recipe on there. Two milkshakes. We should be able to buy another armory. Um, I mean, like, it, it, this is kind of a mess, but, like, I'm trying... I'm, it's kind of a mess, but I'm trying my best. There you go. Um, throw a helmet on there. Like, I really, I really don't know... They, we need we need more descriptions like for stuff it's uh it, it's it's kind of uh, frustrating to just kind of like you know I, the, what does the helmet do nothing i don't know anything um like i know that uh, you know we like to figure things out by you know experimentation but some things should like this one a goblin hat five percent chance to do a critical hit on target do, does that mean all of the other helmets do nothing do they have a combat level it's uh, it's really up in the air. Like if they had a comp, yeah, item level five. Okay, so does that mean it contributes five to our total combat level? Bow. Um, I am I'm, I'm I'm very much in the dark when it comes to that. I think we have two mages: magic tome, 
this one is magic blade. The magic blade, I think, is, uh, yeah, it's level six. So we still want a magic tome because they are higher level um, in terms of, you know, the, um, the combat level. I have to assume the combat level is just something that, like, raises their damage and health and stuff like that. It doesn't seem to, but, you know, like, I, I have to come to some conclusions about how some of this stuff works meat okay so we are getting consistent meat now this is very good we've got two butcheries we're just gonna I'll have the meat stored over here um stew we've got stew so we finally i don't know it took it only took me i don't know how what, what how, how we're at an hour and a half it only took me from uh, basically four and a half hours to get um food at, at some kind of like really consistent level I know it's specifically because I went with uh, stew, but like it's it's so worth it though. Okay, who doesn't have golden chest plate? You now have a golden chest plate. You have a golden chest plate. You have a golden chest plate. You do. You don't. And you don't. So we need two more. You do. You don't. Let's get rid of this wooden axe. Um, so let's put one on you. Um, let's just group everyone up that is like pretty much combat ready. I, not that they're combat ready. They just have a golden chest plate. That's all I care about right now. Okay, so you don't, and you don't. I still need a magic tome. Um, smithy, 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 smithy. There it is. Uh, I'm gonna kill this rabbit. <laughs> Actually, I'll just put him in a pen. We don't have to kill him. I'll put someone on this berry bush. Still want to do more combat. Okay, chest plate, you're good now. Uh, and we need one more chest plate. And then we're good for golden chest plates. Okay, so our chicken supply is gonna explode pretty soon, but that's okay, we, we have enough chickens make up or sorry animal pens to, to kind of make make that up it's gonna go yeah there we go it was a kind of very bad timing because we're just at the end of our year here but we're still under um you know we're, we're under the the bar uh, I, I don't want that rabbit in there i really do just want to kill the rabbit can we just like oh we can stack them ah yo it's just like the name <laughs> Um, we can stack them on the butchery so we don't have to, like, we don't have to figure them out. Why are they, why are there eggs? Why, why, are we, why are we getting eggs for that? Weird. Okay. Uh, raw meat over there. So we're just gonna, like, accumulate raw meat now. Oh, man. That's actually amazing. Um, we should also have a stew on the stove. And there's our other golden... Uh, chest plate. So everyone has a golden chest plate now. So I really just need magic dust. Um, tome. The magic. The tome is only one magic dust. Um, so we need minimum one. And then if I want to make um, some of the extra amulets, uh, which I kind of do, there's only two of them. I'm surprised there's only two of them. Feel the healing power of nature running through you. I don't know what they do for us. It might be that they do nothing. And it might be that they also take up a, a inventory, like a, an armor spot, instead of like a hat spot. This rabbit hat is doing that. Like we need hats as well. We have a helmet. Some, some of us have hats. Most of us only have rabbit hats. I don't know what the rabbit hat does for us. It's adorable. Yeah, I mean, it might be adorable, but it doesn't, apparently it doesn't provide anything. Um, helmets, I, I have to assume they do something. This rat crown at least provides us with some level. The more, uh, the, the helmet is five. The rat crown is six. So, you know, those are good things. The helmet is, yeah, okay. So, like, helmet is, I have to imagine, good and providing something. Um, so here, these are the, these are the people down here that still require literally any accessory or, you know, something. We're going to go ahead and sell this stuff. 
Uh, I need as much money as possible. I really, I like, I do want to, I, I need more berries. We could like buy some humble beginnings for berry bushes, but I find that to be so tiresome that it's, it's just not worth it. I can't believe like it, it took us so long or took me so long, but, uh, or like I'm finally at a point of s sustainability. We actually have, I just noticed we have eight villagers. So we only really need three of these. So we're gonna have like two, um, two melee, two range, two ma uh, two mage, two magic, and then I don't know one extra dude. I don't know, maybe another melee user. I have to assume that the witch is magic. So we'll actually probably want another ranged user. Did we ever figure out how to make a quiver? No. So how does, how does, how does that work? We also, I still need to throw another 50 coins at the, uh, university. <sighs> a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff we have to do. Um, is, the stove is cooking something. This is good. Um, I just need to keep kind of chipping away at the armory. I think we've got a wolf. The wolf does not provide us with magic dust. So. That's already unfortunate. Um, they're melee, so let's go ahead and throw our melee. And I guess uh, ranged users. So militia is fine. We're just like gonna destroy this wolf, hopefully. There we go. We got some raw meat. I won't say no to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to maximum, like stack these to their maximum with chickens. Um, so this butcheries are, are good to go. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, breed. I, I, again, I, I really wish I could get the breeding pen going, but I, I don't have any magic. There, someone's going to tell me like the optimal way. You're, you're too late. You know, you might, maybe you've already typed up your message, your comment. Um, you know, I mean, thanks for leaving a comment. I always appreciate that. But like, you're going to tell me the optimal way of making, of getting magic dust. Uh, and you're just, you're just too late and it sucks. Um, there's not really a good way to, to do this whole thing without that happening. But like, um, I, I, I just like, I need to kind of figure it out. Cause I've already, you know, by the time you've writ, writ, you know, seen this i've already finished the game right and i've done it in my very bass backwards way um it's just unfortunate and uh, sometimes it, it, it happens that way berry bush actually i'm very grateful for the berry bush that's good um and actually giant rat is also very good because um it might give us it might give us magic dust but it might also give us the, the rat king crown which i would appreciate what do you, what do you have actually You've got a bow. I guess I won't say no to that, but you didn't give me anything. You gave me a bone. Thanks for nothing. Thank you for the bone, I suppose. We don't have enough. Uh, oh yeah, so I was gonna like, now that I have all of our chickens breeding, I don't need any of these other eggs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sell them. Can, honestly tempted to sell the animal pens. I know that's dumb, but like, you know what, um, you know what I should be doing is let's get a couple of people on gold mines and we'll just smelt gold mines. I'm going to get someone on lumber as well. We'll get someone on lumber camps and we're just going to go back to basics. I'm going to make, get lumber and we're going to get gold and the gold is good for selling and actually what I could do and like if we really want to talk going back to basics is get someone on the quarry where is the quarry uh I put it next to the brick yeah the brickyard I will get someone on the quarry and um start getting more stone and then turn the stone into bricks and then sell the bricks like that's you want to talk back to basics that's the that's really the back to basics stuff the dog to make you know dog I, I don't know why i keep the dog around 
I should like if I was a, a better youtuber I would have named him by now and made uh, some kind of personal connection uh, fabricated out of out of the dog um, but I didn't and I'm not so there it is uh -huh. okay um, so what what next uh, I'm, we're gonna we're, we're getting gold quarrying stone oh we want to put all of these stones on the brickyard we're just gonna get more bricks and we're gonna start selling bricks just like the good old days uh i don't really think there's any other good way of making money i mean like glass maybe glass no glass is only three and honestly gold is only five comparatively speaking it's it's not you know it's hard to come by but i mean like it should be it should be more than that you think you would think that gold would be more valuable i don't know video games relationship with specifically gold is so odd to me um it's it, it feels like you know like game devs are always very obstinate i hope that's the right word i mean uh, about gold not being as valuable as it should be it's always like you know like minecraft is the obvious one like gold is is nice and all but you know let's be honest when you find gold in minecraft you're out you know it's like ugh. you know it could have been anything else even iron is better you know gold is just uh, like it has this uh, like vibe of not being worthwhile um let's put this do we just need to always make sure we have something on the greenhouse before i turn our berry into a milkshake Okay, lumber camp is producing. There's our milkshake. We're actually kind of getting up there. I might consider throwing another 50 um, at our university. I just kind of want to like get that done with. Yeah, let's just do it. Like, I'm gonna be getting more money soon enough. I'm gonna put the stove up here, by the way. Um, it's you know what's a little bit dumb is that these chickens continue to produce. Um, eggs while they're being um, sent on vacation it's a little bit silly you'd think that they would get a day off but um um where's our university it is there oh are we done yo we're done See, here's my opinion. If you want, since the university takes a, a wizard to create, I'd say um, after you've done, you're done producing all of the ideas from the university, make it 50 coins to buy one magic dust. I think that that's worth it. That would be worth it for me. I would happily exchange 50 gold coins for one magic dust as absurd as that is that would be so much nicer than having to do combat i actually think that um combat's like one of the weakest things in Stacklands. so it's, it's something you have to do but it's never something i specifically want to do um okay so we're, we did get a goblin shaman this might be what we want um i think mage, magic is good against range so we don't want that um, we want our warriors and our mages. Okay. Let's just try this. I think that this will be good enough. Melee and... Yeah, that should be good enough. Is this militia? That's, that's our ranged unit. Okay. Buff. They got buffed. They also got stunned. Get stunned. But stun is very good. There we go. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Yo, we got one. Thank God. Um, or that green berry on there. Okay, so magic dust and on the map lighthouse. Okay, a tomb. We just need one of these now. Magic dust map and smithy. The tome is very difficult to make because you can't even really make like you can't buy or make the map either so it's just like very expensive like it's really difficult to get the magic tome this is possibly one of the most you know difficult to acquire 
uh, items in the game. Okay, so let me see now. We got two berries. Let's go ahead and turn those into milkshakes. You can't stack them, ironically. Okay, we got our militia. We got our warrior. Might try think about upgrading our warrior with better weaponry. But right now, our mage is now... Um, where's... Where's our magic tome? Oh, there it is. Okay, our mage is now an uber mage. Um, yeah, I, I think I can just sell the, the magic blade. I wish I could break it down for magic dust, but I can't, so... Oh god, strange portal. Actually, that's fine. We can maybe get some magic dust out of that. We still need more. I'd still like, like, I'd like to make some of the automation stuff, even just to round out the series. But also, um, uh, is our stove making something? We should always have our stove producing something. Hold on a second. Oh, our stove is over here. Right. That, uh, doing that actually was confusing for me because we got all of our food, like, on the other side of the map. But I did that so that it would go straight onto the mess hall. Sorry, um, completely, complete tangent there. Magic blade is 20% chance to frenzy a random enemy, or sorry, ally. Wait, yeah, friendly, okay. Um, this is 10% chance to frenzy uh, and also 10% chance to heal. I think that that's just better. Um, Magic Blade is pretty good, I won't lie. But also the Magic Tome is a higher level, like higher combat level. So I am going to sell the Magic Blade. I, I wish I could, you know, do something better or more interesting with it, but I can't. Um, let's throw all of this coin edge on our magic, our coin chest. We won't need to do any extra combat. Let's throw this dog on the tree. Is there anyone not doing something that should be doing something? The important thing is quarry, gold mine, gold mine. And yeah, that's that's those are the important ones. We'll throw this on the smelter. Quarry is good. Okay, um so yeah, we're we're going to figure out this uh, combat situation over here. Shouldn't be a big deal. Uh milkshake we're, we're getting up there with money again. It's been a while, but it, it's taken a little bit, but we, we we finally have some money again. I don't know what we, where we got this apple, but I'm not complaining. Ghost, Frogman, Elf, Archer, Goblin. This ghost is new. Only shows up on low quality photos. Very funny. Um, So we've got Archer, Archer, melee and i have to assume it won't okay and yeah mage um so let's go ahead and get our warrior on the ghost they should take them out pretty readily and then it's going to be mage uh mage nope it's not really what i wanted but that's fine it's fighting the right thing so that's the good part and we'll have this militia uh it's ranged or melee against goblin so that's that's correct. Oh, where did all these chickens come from? Damn. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, throw all of the chickens on those butcheries, and then we'll throw the rest of the chickens on those animal pens. And then I'm good. I'm not gonna mess with chickens for a while until we kind of burn through um, those extra chickens. We could do with another animal pen. Oh, we do have another animal pen. I just wasn't seeing it because there's so many chickens. Um, yeah, we're actually like starting to get so, have so much raw meat that it's like almost a problem. Let's do this combat. Very effective. Yeah, like I think that just being a higher combat level means you take less damage. It, it just feels like the case. Also, yeah, I'm not gonna downplay the fact that we got some magic dust. Oh god, okay, pull him out. Please stop missing. I, I, I kind of can't stand combat where you have such a high chance of missing. It's just like so frustrating. Because you like watch this like train wreck happening in, in slow motion.
very effective, and yet we're doing no damage. It's just the it's the XCOM effect, you know, where you like you have a 99% chance of of hitting and you still miss. It just feels bad. It's just always gonna feel bad. Let's kill this chicken. I don't want it. So we did get two magic dust. That's really good. Um, I know I'm doing a lot of complaining right now, but like certain things are kind of bugging me. Um, okay, where's our cows? We should have our cows next to our milk. Our stove isn't producing any any uh stew that's not it stew what are you doing up it's 4 a.m i'm making chocolate pudding why are you making chocolate pudding i've lost control of my life okay so we've got we make we got a hammer chance to stun target we can just sell that that's not really anything that we care about um oh we, where's our we don't have a berry i think i accidentally turned a berry into uh Oh, no, we have a berry bush. Okay, never mind. Everyone's really hurt right now. No one died. That's the good news. Um, we've got way too much wood now. That's what happens. Lumber, um, we're going to throw that on the sawmill. We do have a lot of bricks. That was kind of by design. Um, so, magic dust amulet. Let's make uh, one of each of these. Why not? This is combat level six. This is combat level four. Even though it takes two golden bars to make, I I guess these are basically the same. Healing power of nature running through you. Um, it crowns you. I kind of want to make one of each, even though one of them is like ups, like lower combat level, just to see. Um, it's going to cost two golden bars each. One wood on one of them and one stone on the other and then we're gonna throw them one by one on the smithy i think it's you know it's just an achievement to get these honestly is like i now like any magic dust i get um can be for the purposes of organization and automation which is nice you know like i, I would really like to get some cards for that sake Uh, did we get it? Where's this smithy? I'm probably looking right at it. Where is it? No, it's right there. <laughs> All right. Mountain amulet. 10% chance to make random friendly invulnerable. I mean, that's really nice, but what spot does it take? Okay, so it does take the accessory spot. Um, that's really nice, and I think it is actually worth taking that. There's a, there is a chance that could actually save my life. It would be actually kind of nice to have everyone wearing something like that. Like, combat level, what is it? Combat level, what? Four versus five? I think that anyone who's not wearing a helmet should probably have that. That being said, I'm still going to make the um, the forest amulet because I, I, I'd still like to see what that is. And we can have a little bit of variety. I mean, these are pretty uh, valuable items. You'd, you'd think that they would both be valid. Gold bar. Gold R or in, on the... Everything's disorganized again. It, it's, it's amazing to me how much stuff just kind of roams around. Like, I know it's partly me. Um, it's probably very me, but, um, also it's just like stuff does just kind of roam. Uh, stick, wood, map. I'm just trying to like keep, um, sort of draw some semblance of organization here. Gold coin. We're, I think we're like getting there. We're, we're maybe almost ready to take on the portal. Um, I don't know if it's going to continue from where we left off. That's another question. Like if it starts from like round three, um, then, then this is a very different situation than I, I thought it was. Uh, I thought that like, you have to just like, you got to do them all at once. Um, I, I figured that's the kind of sitch we're in. Um, why is these, why, oh, gold bar, gold ore, more wood. We're starting to get up there with gold again. 
which is good. More milkshakes. Forest amulet. 10% chance to heal friendly with lowest health. That's actually really nice. That's almost as good as invulnerability. So what I want to do is we got, okay, goblin hat, helmet. Um, okay, this mage has nothing. Um, so everyone, I think everyone has something now. Rat crown. Okay, this guy doesn't. So we still need to find one more. We could give them a helmet, and that would mean that they would have something. Uh, and, you know, whatever. We disturbed one rock. Who cares? Um, we, 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 everyone has something now, and I think they're pretty combat ready. Um, are we, like, ready, ready for, you know, we can only take seven, seven dudes, right? So it's, it's kind of a problem. Equip an archer with a quiver. I don't know how to get a quiver. And I also don't know how to get crab scale armor. Where a crab scale armor, like, where do we even find a crab? Goblin. I, I would think that the only place to find a crab would be, um, at the other, at the, the, uh, the, the island location. I'm going to preemptively sell some bricks just, um, because we're about, we're running into the end of the, the moon and I don't want to have to deal with, like, it stopping. Um, okay. We've got money again. That's nice. Oh yeah, we can sell the university now. We don't need it. Straight up not helpful anymore. Um, we're still far over our limit. We can start selling eggs. Like again, we don't need eggs. We're not gonna need eggs for a very long time. Um, and we're good. We're good now. So let's see what the new the new moon brings, if anything. Kind of wouldn't mind getting a ninja just to see what that looks like. I'm sure there's some fun art for it. We could try um, fighting the witch. Like, we're ready. Everyone's got something. Um, that's our second stew. No, we need another stew. Okay, that's fine. Everyone's got something and we're, we're kind of ready. Um, this has the every potential to go completely wrong. Also, I just realized we we can only take seven and again I have eight So someone needs to be left behind probably Probably our, the archer with the helmet Yeah, let's leave the archer because we have Two guys with I, I know I'm like sticking to this blunderbuss even though I know it's not necessarily very good um, I wish I had more goblin helmets the goblin helmets are nice. Okay, um, and then this guy. Could we do better than this? Maybe. But I think this is pretty good. Um, this is a pretty, pretty good route, you know. Why does this militia only have eight health? What happened to him? This is a new year. I thought he would be healed up. No one's healed up. What's the deal there? How do I heal them up? Um, do they need to like go into their into a house or something? I I kind of forget how to how to heal them. Nice place to live. Um, hmm. Hold on a second. Let me look this up. I'm sure I know it, but um, stack lands healing. Villagers. It might be that I just have to wait a couple of years. Eight beginner tips, tips and tricks. I refuse. Is there a way to get villagers and have the second one in a new run? What? No, that's not it. Um, I could just like make new villagers. Archer, builder. Oh, these are all the, the types. There's apparently a magic broom. Staff of fear. What is a staff of fear? How does one make that? Dropped when killing orc wizard. Spawned with it. It's a 20% chance to stun random enemy. Max health minus 12. These things have like stats and stuff. 
Uh, ninja is ranged, typical. Magic staff. So wait a minute, what about the, um, I noticed magic staff, but what about the, the bone staff? Does the bone staff not work? Kraken tooth axe, what is that? Dropped when killing Kraken. Okay, 20% chance to do a critical hit, plus five max health. Uh, item level 12. So uh, if I fought the Kraken again, I, I could... The Kraken was the end game for the island, by the way, if you didn't uh, remember that. There's the Bear Claw. There's a, there's a lot of... Um, quite a lot of, of uh, items. It's fun. But what about the Bone Staff? I don't know. Let me... I, I kind of like... I want to look up the Bone Staff just because... Like what, what? What? Why is this thing less lower on the on the combat? Max health and negative six. Twenty percent chance to life steal from target. Uh, okay, that's why. I, I I still think that that's bad and dumb, to be honest. Chainmail. So there's chainmail armor. That's plus five max health. Uh, but then there's, uh, what, so what does golden chest plate do for us? Actually, it doesn't increase any health. So maybe the golden chest plate is bad. Maybe I should have been doing, um, chainmail armor instead. It does give us more defense. Well, okay, the golden chest plate is actually higher defense than the chainmail. So I don't know. Um, and then there's the horned helmet. Drops when killing the demon lord. It is a really nice thing. It, it kind of sucks that, um, like, I'm continuing a run that uh, basically from the very first iteration of Stacklands, so I don't get to have any of the benefits of killing all of the these bosses. Um, so, like, people who are new to Stacklands are going to get all of these cool items, um, but, you know, tough luck for me, I suppose. That's That's a little bit rough. And then there's also the Demon Sword. So that, you get the de horned helmet for killing the demon lord, but then there's the demon sword, uh, which you get for killing the original demon, which is plus 10 max health, attack speed plus 2, hit chance plus 2. 33% chance only when no other demon sword exists on the current board. So, okay, there's only a 33% chance of getting the demon sword. Some of this stuff is not a guarantee of getting. So, like, I could try and kill the Demon Lord uh, again. Um, and try... That's actually not a terrible idea, actually. The Demon Sword is is actually uh, really nice. And the original Demon is, is possibly one of the easiest bosses in the game. Now, bear in mind, they have been buffed since I first fought them. The 67% chance of dropping a Fire Cloak... And then 33% chance of dro dropping the demon sword. What does the fire cloak do for us? 7% uh, chance to do a critical hit on all enemies. That's kind of nice. Max health plus 10. Like, fighting the demon would actually not be a terrible idea. And I do have the golden goblet. So, um, yeah. Using dogs is also not a bad idea since they have higher base attack leading to significantly higher DPS and, and more stuns. Can we give the dog uh, equipment? I'm just curious about this now. You can. You can give the dog equipment. <laughs> That's so dumb. Okay, well, um, we definitely need to give the dog uh, a golden chest plate. At the very least, we definitely want to give them some kind of weapon. I'm sure we can afford pretty much anything that doesn't require dust. Um, I wonder what a mace costs. Magic ring staff. Uh, we could we could make the dog a ninja. Let's make the dog a ninja. How could I not make the dog a ninja? Oh man, my god. This is all coming together, honestly. Yeah, I mean, the, the cronk.gif right there. 
golden chest plate. I can't believe I could have had the freaking dog helping me with combat this whole time and I just just didn't do it. Oh my god. I'm glad I made the decision to um just like eat my pride and and look at the wiki because uh, this is turning turning into an amazing um set here let's put that berry on the greenhouse plank on there um we have the so three iron bar on the smithy where is that okay there it is oh man this is gonna be so good we have a ninja dog yo we've got a ninja dog that's a setup for some kind of 90s kids movie right there like we got it's like air bud but it's it's ninja bud they would do that though fast and accurate ninjas love them um and actually the dog has a fairly high attack rate and giving him 10 percent chance to stun gives us a chance to like stun lock the demon so kind of amazing so all we need to do now is make a temple five plank five brick and three iron bar easy peasy five brick sorry five brick five brick um five plank three iron bars and three villagers this is incredible i i honestly like you know I, i'm glad I, I i persevered here a little bit because there's some some really fun stuff coming out of uh coming from this game um i i still wouldn't mind trying to figure out how to make a quiver i don't know what the deal is there oh god there's a lot of eggs flying around again we can just sell the eggs that's just like money in the bank like we the chickens are like currently being uh sent on vacation so like you know the eggs that we get from them is is just like bonus and we have enough raw meat we don't have to worry about raw meat anymore honestly i could kind of cool it with some of this stuff we could just like you know i don't know i don't know we'll, we'll figure it out later okay so what oh i'm waiting on the temple the, the temple takes a long time so this can only be a win like uh no matter what i get from the, t the demon if i get the um like if i get the 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 cape that's that's good if i get the um sword that would be ideal sword would be like very good four cards oh my god we have four cards too many well that's four eggs right there three berries one on the greenhouse two more milkshakes eggs more eggs raw meat the raw meat just like kind of flying everywhere um i'm gonna start producing more chickens i think i think we're pretty much there like you know we've got we've got a lot of meat and we don't really need to do any of this but you know may as well like we've got a good system going we may as well maintain it wouldn't mind selling some of these animal pens honestly Um, so we've got our ninja dog. We, the only thing they're missing is a, a good accessory. Um, not sure. Yeah, I'm just waiting on the temple. The temple is going to take, um, a minute and a half there. Is it just me or is this a uh, stove performing, uh, much faster than normal? It seems like it is a little bit. Everything's just gonna get getting shoved again. I, I really wish I could have gotten more dust just to sort out some of our BS. 
It's just a, you know, it's a lot. A breeding pen would have also been really nice. Just kind of, cause like all of these chickens all over the place all of the time is just, it's a lot. Berry. As soon as we get this other berry, that's another milkshake. There we go. Okay, just waiting on this temple. Let's sell some potatoes. We really don't need that many potatoes. And we're now working on our third coin chest. We'll, we'll probably need money again. Don't worry. I'm not going to end the game with like an absurd amount of money. I probably am actually going to end the game with an absurd amount of money. Feed the villagers. I took a full moon and we're still not done building the temple. We might have to fight something here. I'm a little bit concerned about that. No, we're fine. Okay, cool. Okay, temple is made. Now, do we want to do this now? I think so, but let me just go ahead and get another stew going on here. A little bit concerned about these chickens that are going to explode right as the... Uh, Right as the demon is done, let's let's do it. Demon, demon, here we go. Start the ritual. Okay, five percent chance to stun all enemies. Not a big deal. Combat level one hundred and seventy-four. Well, I mean, this is a relatively new concept, honestly. I am a little bit concerned. They are fighting the mage for some reason. I'm hoping to put enough things. Like, I guess they're gonna fight everyone. But I, I'm hoping we can, like, kind of stun lock them. Very effective. Oh, you're gonna stun everyone, huh? Okay, he's stunned. We should be able to stun lock him now. Dog is almost dead. Pull the dog out. Stunlock, stunlock, oh, hold on, we gotta, we gotta deal with the chickens right now, hold on a second. And throw the chickens on there, throw them on the animal pen. Another animal pen. Ah, uh, this is actually not going as well as one would hope. The fact that I pulled the dog off right away. Okay, stunlock them, this is good. Yeah, stun lock. That's what we want. Like, everyone's got golden chest plate. That means everyone's got a 10% chance to stun them. The fact that we miss so often is, is really a bummer. Yes. What? What do you mean? Oh, that was the, that was the militia crit critting themselves. Yeah, the fact that that is possible really does bother me. This militia is not doing so well. I'm kind of hoping that they get healed. Yes, there we go. Buffed. Okay, things are going pretty well. Okay, that's not good. Oh, does that do damage as well? That's like 100% not communicated well. Like, it's, it says stun, but I thought it was just stunning them. It wasn't actually saying any damage. So now I have to... I'm gonna have to make another villager. Oh, uh, we got another villager killed. That's... You know, honestly, it's fine. Uh, it's not really fine right now. Okay, everyone's dying. We're very close to killing him, but damn. We're gonna have to produce quite a lot of new villagers. Sell 13 cards. Oh, right, because all of these equipment cards are, like, cluttering the field. Ugh. It's not very encouraging when you're, like, trying to, you know... Oh, my God. Are you kidding me with this strange portal right now? Okay, just, just kill him, please. There we go. We got the demon sword. That's actually great. That was actually very worth it. Nice. 
Okay. Um, stove needs some something to do. So we are in a tricky situation here because we've got a portal on the go. Uh, we actually, I think we're okay. Let's give this demon sword to our one of our warriors. This one turns him into a regular swordsman, but his combat level is 52. So now that we got that demon sword, um, like we can fight the demon again and get the, the cape. There's, you can only have one demon sword. Like that's, that's it. No more demon swords. Um, we're gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw all of our equipment over here. I, I am very, like, I really think that I need to figure out a better, um, a better ranged. Like the militia is just, just not doing it for me. Uh, there's a, many different militia, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't know. I could look at like slingshot giant. Uh, this is 25% chance to damage random enemy. That's interesting. I don't know if that's worth it. Um, throwing stars. Throwing stars might be nice. I don't know if like every attack means it, uh, if they have golden chest plate, they have a chance to stun. The attack speed on the throwing stars is very good. So it could be that we could like, you know, try and stun lock. There's also the pirate saber. That one's going to be harder to get, I think. 7% chance to make self invulnerable for 10 seconds. Um, warrior, morning star. I think the morning star is the best one. I could do comparisons, but I, I really think that it's just, just the, the, that's the one. Um, okay, so is it really only the one ranger? I'm not seeing a Oh, archer, Cro bow or crossbow. That's kind of it. 15% chance to do a critical hit on target. So the crossbow is nice. Um, I think I might try and make crossbows rather than doing the blunderbuss. I don't think that the blunderbuss is very worth it. It's maybe better, um, when there's like a lot of enemies on the field, but against bosses, I think that it's kind of worthless and we, we do like, we do have to fight enemies. I don't know. I, I'm very like, you know, split on, on, on the whole thing, to be honest. Um, where's our stove? I know the stove is somewhere being idle. There's so much raw meat all over the place right now. Um, where's our stove? Okay, it is working on something. That's good. Yeah, look at all the corpses. Oh, that sucks. So many people died. Oh, we've got mermans. Mermans have a chance of dropping um, golden uh, chest plates. Actually, I did. I did see that on there. Um, they have really high. They're high level. Ten percent chance to stun. We really not need to not be doing this right now. Like this has the potential to wipe our game out right now. Um. What I'd like to do is fight these guys one by one. I don't think it's going to let me though. Okay, it did actually kind of let me. Let's see if we can't. No, never mind. No, we're just we're just screwed. Stunned. Kill kill one of them first. Okay, good. Mage is stunned. Mage is healing. Okay, we got... That, that worked out well. Yeah, there is this blowpipe. I don't think we want that. Okay, so now that that is done, we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't see any combat for a long time now. Um, I, I have to just kind of work on recovering. So, yeah. We, we need to... You know, it's not a big deal, honestly. Because... Um, it's it's not the villagers that matter so much as it is the equipment um and we didn't lose the equipment i do appreciate that you don't lose the equipment 
so you know things things do work out in that way i almost, almost like wonder if we shouldn't have like auto we shouldn't just like automate make wizards or sorry make uh villagers like we have the means to do that if we had more houses we could just like make more villagers and that way we could just like throw villagers at combat like we can't do it that's the strange thing is we can't do it in the portal um I, it leads me to believe that you don't start from the beginning when you go back into the strange portal because um you know it seems like it's against the game in some ways i think what happens is like you 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 have to you're trying to get as far as possible with your current set of villagers and when they die then you go back to the forest here uh with whatever you have left um so if we can like actually overproduce some some villagers then we can like keep hitting it kind of reminds me of war sim in, in some ways because uh, there was that a little bit too. You just like you just have to like throw raw numbers at it, and he, like it's 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 like you kind of led down this incorrect assumption that um, you can't defeat the portal with numbers, but I think you probably can. That's that's my suspicion anyway. Um, we need to. Okay, we're 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 good on stew. Everyone's good. At least we didn't get poisoned. That's, that's the most annoying thing. You know, it's not a big deal anymore, but... Um, I think you do... They do get healed a little bit. Yeah, they get healed a little bit, but not too, like, full. Um, so that's a bummer. I'm actually gonna make another coin chest. How do you make a coin chest? Is one coin, two wood. Um, yeah, like, I, I, I think, I think despite the fact that things didn't necessarily go well, I have learned, I have learned a lot. Um, you know, we're, we're, I think we're in a good situation here. Um, and when we did fight the demon, like, they are, they were originally the, the end game boss. Um, originally, though, they were, like, very simple because they, it would stun them every time you attacked them. And I think at a certain point, uh, they, they just couldn't attack if you had enough, pe enough people like attacking them, um, which was nice. The first time I, uh, I fought the demon Lord, it was like, oh, this is just like really easy. <laughs> um, but now it's an entirely different situation. Now you have to actually have some kind of like team composition. I think we're good for raw meat. I, I, I don't think we need to worry about meat anymore. We've got some chickens over here. I think when we like work through some of this raw meat, we can think about, you know, killing some more chickens. But yeah, I don't, I don't think we need any more. Uh, we can kill these two graveyards. It's just money in the bank. At this point, we're just waiting on these, uh, babies to grow up. I might only need two if we want to. Well, no, I see the new plan is to overproduce. So we've got, we might want to make another house. How much does another house cost? Two wood, one stone, one villager. Really? Two wood, one stone, one villager. I mean, that's, uh, we should just be making a bunch of these. I always like say that and then there's like then that's why I run into organization problems. I think I'll make two more at the very least. We're going to make another child over here and another one over here. I think what I would like is to basically have like four villagers besides the seven if that makes sense so like we have two babies and i, I mean villagers not babies like babies they won't like if we get attacked by something and i only have babies that's gonna be a problem 
then the game is over. We really don't want to like end up in a situation that we, where we can can't recover. So right now we have two babies and we have seven villagers. So what that means is I want um, two more babies on the go, and then when all of the babies are born, like grown up, and our villagers, then we'll hit the portal and we'll see what happens. Oh, we have all this coinage over here. Where's our, there we go. Throw that in there, throw this guy on there. Okay, so um, now we have, so like I say, I, I, we just need four villagers to kind of get the whole ball going again. Um, so what we need now is I need to set everyone up and actually this is ideal because we're only at 20 food that's like that's pretty much what we were doing before I, I really do need to keep on this stove though I wish there were better ways of doing this I know there's the crane but I, I, I think I need uh, dust for that right magic dust damn you damn you for <laughs> for doing that for real <laughs> god damn it um Okay, what we're gonna start doing is um, like reorganizing our villagers into. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to do the blender bus. I, let's uh, let's look at crossbows. We need rope. Um, how does one make rope? This is why I got um, the uh, cotton, two cotton and one villager. Okay, let's. We're gonna make two crossbows. One rope. So I need. Um, need two people on cotton and we'll figure out the rest later so let's get the rope first and then we should be good okay so uh one rope plank wood one rope plank wood and iron bar of course it's almost there's always a, an iron bar in the mix somewhere why are what are you doing stop stop doing that whatever it is Throw that on the smithy, and we're producing that. I don't think I, I may may as well honestly um, sell the blender bus. I really don't think it's worth it. Iron bar, plank, wood. Like I say, we're we're pretty much waiting on these uh, villagers over here to to you know grow. I think we're good for money. I don't think I need more than 200 uh, gold. Okay, we got one crossbow. So that makes an archer. This guy is set up with a goblin hat. Uh, this guy is very set up with a demon sword. Um, this guy is okay. This this villager needs stuff. Okay, golden chest plate. Um, we'll give you a morning star and um, a helmet. Okay, you're you're good to go. Uh, this warrior is good um this mage is good and we need another mage magic tome golden chest plate uh and mountain amulet you've got the other amulet right yeah okay so you're good to go um that means the dog i mean i i kind of don't want to send the dog on this mission and we only need seven right so the dog is going to be stay home as a as a protector I think I might sell some of this other uh, other stuff. Okay. What are we at a time? We're at two hours and two and a half hours. Okay, so that's um you know we're, we're things are going at a pretty good pace. I still think that we're on our time on timeline to finish the game at the end of this episode. I'm still I I don't know why I'm still making like continuing making money uh, I'm gonna fill up that last coin chest and then I'm officially done making money like I don't need any more <sighs> Okay, so yeah, we're just we're just waiting for these babies to grow up You know That's how it is sometimes actually don't we okay, not the not the milk 
Strawberry. Uh, where, where, okay. I'm, I'm getting like a little bit flustered with like how much extra stuff there is on the field. Let's just like sell some of this stuff. Okay, we're, we're, we're officially done. I don't need another, I, I, I don't even want to make another coin chest because then I guess I'm going to have to make another coin chest. Um... All right, let's make another coin chest. I guess there's no reason not to, but at the same time, I, 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 like, I don't want to do this, the whole thing anymore. Um, two wood. Is it one villager? I really wish we could make a resource chest. Like, please, please. Um, I'm officially gonna like. I'll keep one berry around, um, but I, I'm, I'm. Actually, you know what? We're, we're going to take that off. I'm going to keep this berry here. Uh, we'll turn this berry into our last milkshake, but I'm done producing milkshakes. It's not helpful anymore, and it's, you know, just kind of getting in the way. Turn all of that stuff into money. Where's our chest? Huge, massive chest ahead. We have almost... Oh, we have 250... Uh, coins. Kind of absurd. Just, it's just too much. Too many coins. Too much money. We're still waiting on these babies. They take a long time to grow up, you know? <clears throat> oh, God. No. Actually, this might be a good opportunity. Our babies are almost grown up. Let's, let's, um, take this opportunity to, to fight the witch. I think now is the perfect time because that means we don't have to fight this. Uh, that's seven, right? We can't put any more on there. At least one villager needs to stay on the mainland. Can we have seven or uh, more than seven go though? Interesting idea. Um, we just like recovered our health. Um, the babies are almost grown. This means we don't have to fight whatever comes through. I think now now is is the perfect time. I know we had our stable portal, but it's just like, this is the game kind of thrusting the decision onto us. Yes. All right, wish me luck. You're back for more. You will never defeat me. Okay. Get ready to fight. So yes, we are on wave three. That is, um, that's, that's a, a mystery solved there. Okay, so we only have the one uh, melee, and I, and I have to remind myself all the time, it's melee versus magic, magic versus ranged, ranged versus um, melee. So we're gonna have the ranger over here, so the, this is good here. Um, but then the ranger is versus the ranger, that's also good. Uh, then we need a wizard. And then all of our warriors are over here, and this is actually a pretty good setup. The only thing is that the mage is fighting the ranged user um so that's not ideal but you know we can deal with it okay that's one lad done nice oh, we get some magic dust from this so it, like if we don't beat this now then we'll be able to make some more stuff you've beaten my minions but i have plenty more do you have, want to fight the next wave or run away? Fight wave four for sure. Okay, get ready. Okay, so um, we got an orc wizard. They are very, they have very low health. They also have the potential to do some pretty nasty damage. So we want to have at least one of our swordsmen fighting that. Um, we have two swordsmen, so let's go ahead. I'm trying to set things up here. Uh, swordsman is good against magic. Let's put our other. Yeah, there, there we go. Um, so we we have at least all of our swordsmen near the magic user, and then uh, ranged against them. We do have a ranger against our swordsman. That's not ideal, but I think overall this is pretty good. Um, magic is good against ranged. Okay, yeah, this is this is all right. We have a pirate here. We are keeping a 
at a pretty good pace uh, in terms of- Whoa, we have three magic dust? This is what we should have been doing. We should have been fighting the freaking end, end game to get the magic dust we need. Damn. Damn it. Damn it. Damn myself for not knowing that. You've beaten my minions, but I have plenty more. Fight wave five. Here we go. Get ready to fight. Okay, um... Okay, a melee against mage, mage against range. Range is there, that's good. Um, we'll get another mage over here against this ranger. Uh, melee against melee, that's fine. Um, there's another ranger user here, but we don't have another mage. So there's gonna be a little bit of... Um, yeah, that's not ideal actually. We want this guy to fight the mimic. We can have one, the archer fighting this one mage user. That's fine. Hopefully, you know, they won't take too much damage. The, the mimic is probably the worst thing here. Very effective for one damage. That's the, that's the blunderbuss hurting again. You've beaten my minions, but I have plenty more. Okay, we're gonna do one more one more wave, and then I might uh, come back to recover for a couple of rounds. But this is uh, this is very good. I think I, I I'll be good, like totally fine to do one more here. Um, okay, so melee against mage. There we have a couple of mages over here. Um, so this is fine, I think. And then the only thing is we have this one mage over here, but they're only fighting a feral cat. They, that should be fine. As soon as they're done, they'll be fighting another mage. That work wizard is stunned pretty bad. This blunderbuss dude will probably end up killing themselves. That's fine. We got an iron shield and the method of making an iron shield. Alright, no one died. You've beat my minions, but I have plenty more. Flee the forest. Okay. So we got tons of magic dust. You know what this means, right? Right. We're going to make a ton of amulets. Um, I, I think that that's worthwhile. Um, it basically, they're just like straight upgrades. And um, then like if, if there's enough left, we can start, we can also make some automation stuff. But um, yeah, let's, let's sort some of this stuff out. We got, we got some good winnings here. Uh, we only have one stew in our oh what happened there that wasn't what we want we want a stew cooking the bad news is actually we have a ton of villagers on their way um i think what we could do is honestly just like swap out some of our made uh villagers that got a little bit hurt but yeah it's maybe not ideal so what does this iron shield do for us 10 percent chance to stun target i have to assume that takes the place of golden armor and um yeah, this, the golden armor is just better. Uh, so I'm gonna assume like there's no, it doesn't, it, you can't find out more about it, but I'm gonna sell it. I don't think it's worth it once you have golden armor. Um, we got some milk, thank God. We don't have enough milk. Um, we got a golden bar, actually not bad because you know we we were kind of running through that. Got a blowpipe, no, whatever. Magic dust, magic dust. Coin, magic dust. This is what we should have been doing. I should have been doing that to get all of our magic dust. Damn, it's just like, damn it. <laughs> Look at how much magic dust we have. I think we have enough to make pretty much every amulet we want. And then also some of the automation stuff. Um, okay, so we have two amulets. We can only do seven, seven people. So that means we're gonna just go ahead and um, create seven amulets. I do think that there's probably a good reason to keep maybe the rat helmet. If I was gonna keep only one, it would probably be the rat crown. Maybe the goblin, maybe there's something to be said about the, the, the goblin hat. But the thing is, is that the, the, the forest amulet is like a chance to heal. And then the mountain amulet is a chance to make invulnerable. If everyone had like, you know, 
you know, either one of those or the other. And I'll just gonna, I'm just gonna arbitrarily split divide them. Maybe I'll have more forest than mountain. Then it's just gonna like do a lot more for survivability. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna do, I'll do three forest and two mountain. Uh, so whoops, not forest. Um, okay. So two gold bar one. Oh, we might actually run out of gold bars. Two gold bar. Yeah, we're definitely going to run out of gold bars. That's a, that's kind of a problem. Uh, one wood. Yeah, one wood and we need more wood. What is this thing? Iron bar rope. Oh, that was going to be a crossbow. Right. I was going to make the crossbow and I didn't. I was going to swap out the, the other militia for... Okay, well, we can do it now. We got away with it. I probably shouldn't have, but... Let's go ahead and make this and then we'll make the first amulet. We'll sell this idea. Um, we need someone on... Uh, we need someone on uh, gold. Two people on gold mine. And someone on the wood. Where is it? Brickyard quarry. Where is the wood yard? Lumber yard. There we go. All right. Um, so we can make three amulets right now. Which is, you know, good enough. So we're going to need four more bars if we want to make the other amulets. There's the our crossbow. Um, who's who is still using a blender bus? You are. Get out of here. Use a crossbow. It's just better. It's just better. Okay, gold bar, gold bar, wood, wood. Okay, so we're set up for the next two amulets. Um wood just gonna go ahead and put you there amulet okay so who uh who wants an amulet let's just set that up now and we'll do that forest amulet you get a forest amulet actually no you don't get a for forest amulet you're done you're done for a long time you get a forest amulet um this villager is not long for this world this is how you, uh, rather than waiting to recover for, like, I don't know how long. Um, wait. Oh, that wasn't making a stew. Oh, God. We are, we're actually maybe going to run into food problems because these two villages are going to add quite a bit of, uh, load to our, our, uh, our requirements to our food. What I might do is just, like, throw all of this milk on the mess hall. Let's just do that. Actually, you know what? You know what I should have been doing? I mean, now that we don't care about food anymore, at least not as much. Um, where is that crock pot? Hot pot, there we go. This is how we solve this problem. Yeah, we don't get the well fed. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know, I know. I've been going on and on about how the well fed status is really good. And now I'm just like throwing that away. Um, I understand. But you have to understand that um, I'd rather just like deal with the food and like we don't I don't care so much because I don't need to produce anything right now. So I just want to like, you know, sort it out. Uh, Smithy, you should be making me an amulet. It's going to take us a little bit of time to get more gold. What we could do is uh, maybe do like an order and structure. Does that give us a gold? No, not. it actually doesn't. What the heck? Does anything else give us gold? I, I guess there's uh, chances in here. Where is it? Iron treasure chest. Graveyard. What, what gives us a gold? Catacombs? I guess maybe that. I don't know. Okay, here's a forest amulet. Who needs a forest amulet? Goblin hat? Yeah, you don't need a goblin hat. You need a forest amulet. So I'm going to put pe people down here. You guys are like set up. You're at 15 of 20, 15 of 20. That's good enough. This guy is going to get replaced um, with a much fresher villager because 
they it, it's gonna it takes too long for them to recover wait a minute why are you 15 of 30. okay so i guess you have to recover them anyway at a certain point they just need time to recover it doesn't let you kind of uh cheat the system oh i might not surprise i mean uh yeah that, i mean that makes sense why are you not making cooked meat? Stop making cooked meat. Oh, you, you cap out at 50, huh? Okay. Okay, well, whatever. We don't have to worry about that anymore, to be honest. Everyone was fed. Okay, um, you know what I'm... Now we can throw that on you. And, um... Let's throw a bunch of eggs on the stove and just start making... turning the eggs into food. Absolutely no reason for me to be this disorganized over here. Okay, um, so what's next on the docket? How is everyone doing for health? Um, we're okay. This warrior probably needs some more health. Um, Smithy needs to be making an amulet. That's what we need to be doing. Brick, stone, wood. We haven't gotten any more gold. It's been a while since I've needed... I, you know, I, like, it's funny. You know, you don't think you... You're gonna miss something until it's gone. I, I knew that when I stopped producing gold, I was gonna like seriously regret that. You're 20 of 20, 20 of 20, 24 of 25, 21 of 30. Um, you have a forest amulet, forest amulet, forest amulet, mountain amulet. We can start making mountain amulets. Um, what do you have? Helmet. Now you have a forest amulet. Oh, okay, never mind. The game's gonna be stubborn. Um... What do you have? Okay, let's get that off of you. I actually probably have too many forest amulets. I probably should have made... Oh, there's our first gold ore. Nice. Uh, I should have made some more, um... Mountain amulets. Which is just... whatever. Um, I'm just gonna put that over there so I don't forget. Gold ore, where is our smelter? Frigid, campfire. Uh, smelter, I, I see it. Okay, we're recovering. Um, gold ore, smelter. Where did it go? Where did it go? You moved. No, you didn't move. Okay, there we go. Uh, egg on there. Omelets. We're, we're making omelets that should just like automatically move on to the mess hall, which is fine. In fact, it looks like we could like maybe sneak this over here so that the omelets automatically get placed on the stove. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. This is This should work. Yeah, like the chickens will automatically put the eggs on the stove and then the omelette will just automatically go on the mess hall, I'm hoping. Um, so I'm just waiting on the second amulet. And then, and then I don't know what, honestly. I don't know what next. These guys are all done. I guess we could, like, look at making resource boxes. It's been a while, huh? Like, I could just, like, you know, look at some of the stuff that I've been wanting to make this whole time. Um, building? So there's a breeding pen. That would be nice. That's two magic dust. Yo, go actually to hell. <laughs> actually go to hell i can't believe you would like and a gold bar i mean you know gold bar that's fine i don't mind using a golden bar did i keep my goop there's our, our golden bar we need another one of those um composter 
Composter is nice. Golden mine, mess hall. Could we make the crane? We could make a crane. Lifts cars from one place to another. I honestly one wouldn't mind making magic glue. Making glue wouldn't be a bad idea. 13 cards too many. Uh, well, the way we solve that problem is, first of all, take the hot pot. And uh, we're just going to throw some carrots on there. Just, like, throw all of the carrots on there. Traveling cart. That, that could be good. We have a lot of money. Actually, that would be great, because then we could um, get our gold bars from them. Got a map. Um kind of useful we could get another tome honestly having another mage wouldn't be a terrible idea treasure chest well if you sell me a key that wouldn't be a that would be kind of nice brick map sure um apple we'll throw that on the hot pot I have too many eggs all the time. Golden goblet. I I resent you making giving me a golden goblet, although the idea of fighting the demon again isn't a terrible option. Um It's not a terrible idea. It's just awful, that's all. So there's a, a iron bar. Um if you could give me some golden bars, that'd be nice. Iron bar, brick, bone, spear, map, spear, plank, a bunch of stuff I kind of don't want. Um, the iron bars are welcomed. We are, we're kind of running low on, on iron bars. Maps, I don't really care for. I don't know, maybe I should make another tome. The tome is like really nice. How many wizards do we have? We have one, two. So we could have a third mage instead of like a, a third warrior. What are you? Oh yeah, you're a demon. So we gotta have the demon guy. We have two, yeah, we have two warriors. Yeah, maybe we switch it up and we have, uh, how much is the tome again? Magic dust, okay, that's not bad. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do that. That sounds good. Let's throw all of this in the hot pot. Um, right. Uh, so I don't know. Yeah, I guess we're like, I'm not sure what I'm waiting for at this point. I, I'm, I'm waiting on the second gold bar. It'd be really cool if we could get a, a gold bar from the traveling cart, but I don't think we can. I got a key. Hello. My, my cat is say, saying hello. Um, give me a moment here. I'm, I'm just trying to figure things out, honestly. Like, the idea of fighting the demon uh, again is intriguing to me. We, we opened a treasure chest and we got basically nothing useful. Brick. If you could give me, like, one gold bar, that would be so nice. Map? We don't need any more maps. I, like, I'm honestly, like, bending the rules just to make another tome. I don't even think that that's necessarily a great idea. Um, give me iron bar, really? Every time it gives me something I have to sell, my mind gets completely flooded. Because I'm like, now I have to find my coin chest. I feel like you should be able to set the color of certain cards and, like, color code things a little bit. Because, like, I, I, you know, I'm just, like, constantly looking for things. Soil, you're just not going to give me really what I want, are you? I guess we got a like, I guess the map is, like, the best thing that they give you. They don't give you gold. That would be really nice if they did. Okay. Um, so we're still trying to get gold uh, the old-fashioned way. 
All right, so who this warrior, I guess, is going to become... We, we don't need any more wood for now. You're going to become uh, a mage. So you're a mage, and here's your forest amulet. So now we have five people set up. Um... I guess we could like we can go back in this warrior how come you're not oh you're 15 to 15 huh i thought the warriors would be a bit beefier you're 30. Hmm. starting to feel like there should be a better morning star is item level eight and it has chance to stun so it is quite good um can we make a morning star no, we can make chainmail armor. We have another quest, fight the wicked witch. Yeah. Um, okay, so we still need an amulet or something to put on them. I don't know. We could probably just put like a goblin hat on them. Like, you know, I'm, I'm waiting on, on more gold, but like, I don't want to draw this out much longer. It's, it's kind of uh, tedious for everyone involved. You have the rat crown. We really only need one more thing. Stone. You have to give me stone, huh? I, I talked so much crap about, like, wanting the automation stuff, and now as soon as I have the magic dust, I'm like, eh. I know, it's very typical of me, isn't it? But it's like, uh, you know... I'm at the point where I'm like, I'm just trying to like, kind of get to the end of this. Uh, there's our gold ore. Perfect. Okay, uh, that's going to be it. As soon as we have that gold bar, we'll make a mountain uh, amulet. And... Uh, and then we can face, uh, we won't probably, again, we won't face the witch themselves. Probably, like, if it's the witch her, herself fighting in the next one, then I may, uh, I'll just, like, bail and then take a, a moon to recover. Everyone's at full health. So we're good on that regard. There's our mountain amulet. Um, who needed it? Did I give someone a goblin helmet? I gave someone a goblin helmet, didn't I? I was like, I'm never gonna get that gold, so just take the goblin helmet instead. Seven cards, too many. Uh, well... Where's that hot pot? Let's, uh, throw some onions in that hot pot. Rare portal. That's not good. I wonder if we can just, like, enter the rare portal? instead because that would be ideal <coughs> who's got the okay you got the rat crown who's got <coughs> the goblin helmet <coughs> is it you yeah you've got the goblin helmet okay you're getting a mountain helmet instead <coughs> can we we can go through this portal as well so that's kind of ideal this is actually a really good way of like just dealing with the the rare portal Off we go to fight, um, way, uh, I guess, wave seven? Yes. <laughs> You're back for more. You'll never defeat me. Get ready to fight. Okay, some stuff, uh, difficult stuff here. Wave seven does not play around. Um, so again, uh, we got, we want ranged fighters fighting melee. Ranged. And then we want melee fighting um, magic. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is not ideal. There's more melee users than anything else. So we're gonna take some crits. It's okay, we'll probably end up killing something in time for someone more effective to take over. Got a 
pickaxe. Also gonna heal um, quite a bit. Uh, we have the means of fighting this effectively. Okay, we're, we're good. We got more magic dust. That's the important thing, honestly. Now we have more magic dust than we, we could possibly need. You beat my minions, but I have plenty more. Fight wave eight. Let's let's keep keep it going. Okay, make sure we're doing this right. Melee, melee against the mages. This is good. Um, ranged against melee. Uh, mage against the range. That's. I think everything's pretty much set up. Except for this. This is the only. Um, these two can swap. And now that's good. Now we're actually good. Wow, he, uh, one of them died pretty quickly. Staff of Fear. That healing is actually working out really well. Every uh, We've got enough forest um, amulets that like I'm, I'm recovering almost as quickly as I'm taking damage. No one got frenzied, but they also got uh, stunned. How did this happen? I'll defeat you. Um, okay, let's, like I say, I'm going to flee the forest. And we're going to take a little bit of time to recover. Um, sell this stuff. I, I'm sure it's good for something, but, you know, it's kind of redundant at this point. Coin, Staff of Fear. We'll, we'll maybe have a look at the Staff of Fear, but other than that, like I don't, I don't think I really need it. Plank, fish, chest. Twenty percent chance to stun random enemy. Very scary. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe we keep it. We're we're over. I mean, it doesn't matter. We can throw these omelets on our crockpot. Where is our crockpot? There it is. Yeah, I know it's not crockpot. That's that's uh, that's some. Um, don't starve terminology bleeding into this into this series a little bit. Coins. So um, at this point, like we're just waiting. Like I'm, I'm, I'm good to go again. I, I'm good to fight the witch. Uh, I just need time to recover. We could maybe make another amulet, but like everyone's got an amulet. Two, three, four, five, six. Except this one swordsman. So if I wanted to be like really ridiculously overkill, I would give this one an amulet. Sure, we could we could do that. We we have we have some time to kill now anyway. May as well go for it. May as well give everyone an amulet. I guess there's a reason to like continue making the um, the stews because these guys on the gold mines are ma they're they're producing gold at a very slow rate. I only notice it though because I'm like just sitting around waiting. <laughs> um, so you know, fair enough. We've gotten some good stuff. I really, I, like, you know, I, I guess I should, this is a good time to talk about my thoughts on the latest update for Stacklands. Um, I, I was surprised in a way, because I thought that they were going to basically continue doing this whole thing of, like, adding a new place, like the island that you have to go to and kind of start over. Um, it's a good way of doing things because it lets you kind of convolute the uh, format without um, like making it too complicated. Like if you add too much to something, to a game like this, then eventually it becomes untenable and it's already kind of getting there because there's all, all like just a stupid amount of stuff to do. Um, a lot of it doesn't necessarily like, you know, there's a lot of stuff in this game, but they don't all like mesh together necessarily. Like you don't have to do a lot of it. A lot of it is very optional. And so it's, you know, it's, I, I think that's fine. You know, like it doesn't feel too complicated. It's just a lot of agency. There's just a lot of 
options um, for the player. And so, you know, it doesn't it, it doesn't feel necessarily super overwhelming. Um, so, like, all in all, I I do really like the uh, the new update. I, I really like the equipment um, management in this game. Like, it's it's a it's a really good idea. It's a good way to kind of like add on top of it, and it does make the combat in this game more interesting. I think that the combat, as I say, was the weakest part. I know I'm like trying to. Sorry, hold on, give me a second. I have to sell some stuff. Eight things. I have to get rid of eight things. Um, the, I, I do think the combat was the weakest part of Stacklands, and now it is um, more interesting. It is more interesting. I still think that it is the weakest part of this game, but I I understand wanting to have it and wanting to um, do it in the way that it's done. I almost like I I don't know how I would do it, but like. I'm not I'm not necess I'm not a game developer. I guess in like if for me I I like if you're doing if you're calling it Stacklands and it's a game about stacking cards, I'd be tempted to like have the all of your creature your all of your warriors and villagers stacked on top of a single monster and then they like take turns fighting it. Um, and then yeah, you just make it a numbers game. You just like have as many villagers as possible. Um, and that's kind of how the game originally played. And I understand wanting to not do that because that feels maybe a bit too simplistic. But I think that this game does strive on its simplicity. I do think that it, it's one of the reasons that it is, um, you know, so loved is that it is a pretty simple thing. And, you know, I was, I was talking about it on my... Um, you know year roundup like why you know i love this game is it's it is so like intuitive and accessible like the you know the fact that you're using this like uh, uh tactile sense of putting things on top of other things um this putting it in a board game kind of context makes it so accessible makes it so easy to kind of like figure things out and i think that 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 does really work um, I just like, I don't know, I, I, like if I guess, you know, if you could do it over again, I might consider, uh, taking a different approach on the combat, but I still think it's good. Like, I don't think that it makes it, um, a bad game. I just think that there might've been other, it's really just different approaches, it's probably just a taste thing. Um, okay. This, uh, situation with eggs is becoming kind of ridiculous. Let's sell some eggs we are just gonna have to wait a couple of uh, moons to uh, recover all of our villagers they need a bit of time to recover 19 cards how did I get to 19 cards too many uh, five cards too many uh, I don't know. I guess I can sell some of this stuff. I really don't need like three maps and I definitely don't need one of these helmets. Um, oh, and yeah, we can sell a blunderbuss. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're waiting for our villagers to recover and we are waiting for one more gold bar so that we can uh, make another amulet. I think at the end, uh, uh, this will be the last moon before we fight the witch again. Um, and we'll actually, I'll actually endeavor to use our, we've, we've never had to use the stable portal, which I don't even know where it is. There it is. Uh, because like the game is just like thrusted the perfect moment on us every time to to go and fight the witch the witch's army um you know i i guess this stove is like continuously making omelets in a way this is like very sustainable it, it means we don't get this the stew and i know i'm like very obsessed with the stew but um you know it is kind of nicer not to have to deal with that. Uh, 
I'm trying to think if I if, if I was gonna make some resource boxes. Let's see here. Resource chest. Two plank, one iron bar, and one magic dust. I kinda wanna just see it. Two plank, one iron bar, and one magic dust. I just wanna like make one of these things, because like damn. I've been like sitting on this for basically the whole game. Chest for storing resources. Can you put anything in there? Nope, you can't put milk in there. Cannot put milk in there. Can you put onion? Nope, you can't put it. So it's like bricks. So you can put bricks in there. Uh, literally, I guess like you know, literally resources. And then I have to assume at a certain point, like cranes could pull stuff out of this chest and then like put, put it in. You know, if I was gonna play this game for like another entire three hour episode and we're actually surpassing that now, um, I probably would take time to like set up chests for all of our stuff and uh, you know, like actually, actually like set up automation now that we have like more dust and we know what to do with it's amazing uh you know at one point i was like oh i can't get dust Wah. and then uh, you know i fought the witch once and like we have way too much dust Wah. Wah. oh my cat doesn't like me crying like that i'm sorry sorry feed villagers I, you know, I will say it's it's kind of amazing to me how how often um, with Stacklands I I have said out loud I really wish that they would implement literally this one feature and then they just did like it, and it it was already in the game like already in the game and you know I'm just like when I want this thing and it's like it's, it's right there. It's just it's just right it's just just do it like right it's right there stop stop crying um one magic dust smithy so we're making i'm gonna make a, another mountain you should uh, be required to have a you should have a molehill in order to make the mountain amulet so you can turn the, the molehill into a mountain Oh, that's that's humor right there you can't you can't put a price on that kind of humor because it's literally worthless all right cool um let's i'm just gonna wait uh, for these guys to finish this last one on the off chance that you know they produce gold nope and nope all right we're good to go um stable portal Let's just check on everyone's health. 20, 30, 25, 20, 30, 15. Everyone's good to go. And this will either go very well or uh, just awful. And just to make sure we can't put anyone else on there, right? You can only take seven villagers into the portal. All right. Wish me luck. Here we go. Six hours of Stacklands later, <laughs> we're fighting the witch. You're back for more. You will never defeat me. Okay, get ready to fight. This is wicked witch is split into two other. What? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So I guess this is how they make the blunderbuss actually worthwhile. Is they. Um, add a bunch of extra enemies to the last combat. I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. So we do have the right swordsman fighting the Wicked Witch. This is the strong, strongest unit in our troop. Um, they have some of the most health, not quite the most, but uh, they have the demon sword, um, and uh, they've they've got some good chops and they're also a melee and they're fighting the, the uh wicked witch so this is good we have a lot of um, mage users over there unfortunately um not really sure how i want to deal with this situation i think this is the best way we can do it let's just hope for the best i'm gonna closely monitor our swordsman over here 
he's only taking one. He's actually taking more damage from the ghost than every, anything else. Oh, we have a wizard robe. Very effective. Honestly, um, things are going to be pretty good until the rest of these guys die. Oh man, that thing's... Attack sucked because then the witch is going to be able to attack anyone, and that's when they have the opportunity to do some very effective attacks. They don't seem to be attacking very often, but we are also stunning them, so that's nice. These ogres really suck. They really like us to kill this end. There we go. The, the witch is actually yet to, to land a single attack. Um, we need to move this archer somewhere else because they're they're currently um, eating some nasty attacks and they only have five health left okay we're down to the wire here we're down to the last boss i it wouldn't surprise me if the witch has a second form once we get them down to like very low health Recovering, yeah. They, they just healed the archer almost a full. Yes. Come on. This is it. We're oh, we're 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 good. We're absolutely good. You've defeated the wicked witch, yet a dark force still lingers. Okay. You have finished the Dark Forest quest. Okay. You can continue fighting to get more resources. Fight wave 10. Um, flee. You fled with your earnings, including a magic broom. Level 11, 15% chance to heal all friendlies. Yeah, I mean, that's probably better than a magic tomb, right? I mean, I don't know. Definitely gonna use it. I'll keep a magic tomb around. And I mean, like, you know, wh like, what are you doing? Like, it's over. <laughs> uh, you're not wrong. Um, it is over. But, like, you know, uh, there's always the potential for more. Like, I don't know. I would be tempted to keep this thing going for as long as I can. Um,. You know, I think Sock Pop have a, a really good thing going on here. Not just in like not not just like a financial thing. I'm not talking about that. It's not not always about money. You know, um, sometimes it's about like uh, just kind of creative energy. And I think that this game there has a lot of potential creative energy. There's still there's still more to explore. I think in Stacklands. I think you could definitely do more. And I'd like to see it. Um, I, I, I really do enjoy the quality of life stuff they've added to this game. Uh, I, you know, like now that we've got magic dust and I guess if we just like go into the portal, um, you know, it's just, that's how you get more magic dust. That's, that seems to me like the easiest way to get more. Um, yeah, like just, it's a solved problem. Um, we can, we can get rid of this. I, I'm just like... Oh good, we have another strange portal. The one time I used the stable portal, I could have just like waited for the end of the the, the, the moon. That, that's highly ironic, honestly. Um, you have 13 cards too many. I don't know. I shouldn't have 13 cards too many. Oh no, I'm fine, actually. Um, so yeah, I mean, like, that's gonna do it. I, like, I know I, I, I did a little bit of complaining um, you know, sometimes that happens and, uh, you know, as it, as it happens, there's always a solution whenever, when I, whenever I, I end up in a situation where like I, this is being frustrating. I'm like, yeah, well, there's actually a game. There is a solution in the game. I just haven't found it yet. What? What? Did you want to say goodbye? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, yeah, my, my strange forest, uh, creature says goodbye. Um, and I hope you enjoyed Stacklands, and I'm looking forward to potentially more of this in the future. Uh, thank you very, very much for uh, watching and uh, for um, hanging out for this long journey. 
and I'll see you guys next time, if there is a next time on Stacklands. Um, please consider hitting that like button and, and subscribing if you're new to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Again. And one more time. I'll, I'll see you guys next time. All right. Goodbye. See you.